I don't care. Okay. Okay. It's one nil. Put the key down. 13th in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when, when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. I hope you are all doing well. It is Leeds United versus Sunderland. Apologies for being late. Um, I'm trying to recenter this, sort everything out. Um, uh, sorry, I'm late. What's going on here? Right, let's do that. Let's move me in. Um, right, I'm all over the shop here. Sorry about this. Why isn't it letting me for? and change I don't know what's happening <laughs> right that'll do for now um, smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel get your comments in and of course hit that notification bell I can't lie to you I'm bricking it um, this is the most I've been nervous um, all season not just for this fixture for all five um, yeah I'm scared I'm scared has anyone seen how high when he goes don't be scared it's only positive um, yeah, so I am. I can't lie to you. I'm scared. Um, don't be scared. It's only a pusher. Um, look, same lineup as expected. I think, you know, I see meltdowns on social media um, post post the press conference with loads of different lineups. And I'm thinking, well, you haven't even listened to the presser because if you listen to the presser, you'll know that, you know, Bamford was going to start. You'll know that non tone Roberts will not be ready to play 90 minutes until Middlesbrough. These all things that came out of his mouth, do you know what I mean? Um, I am channeling, I am channeling Bamford hat-trick at Aston Villa. Um, let me just qualify this statement as well. I also wouldn't have minded Matteo Joseph starting. I've said that, yeah? But my point is, we have to support the lads that are out there. Um, so, let's just hope that you know, I'm at a stage where I'm I'm in hoping and praying. I am nervous. I can't lie to you. It's most I've been. It's most I've been. Um, yeah, like, that's the thing. You know, you might not like him. You might not like him. But please, like, we've just got to back it today. Um, everyone's shitting it. Everyone's saying it. Um, <laughs> everyone's bricking it. I hear it. Everyone's the same. Yeah, and like it's been said, if I'm scared, then... Y y you know, um, then imagine those that are more negative. If I'm scared, they must be like ready to, you know, yeah, throw themselves into a moving vehicle or something. Um, but come on, I am channeling Bamford today. I did like a little compilation which upset a lot of people, naturally. It's just a compilation, just a compilation to try and say, look, this guy, this guy can can score goals. He can, he's done it before, he will. Do you know, like, when you see, like... <laughs> if Bamford scores tonight, you're not going to get no what about Riff from me either. You're not going to get that man pat, that man pat. You're just going to get... You know? That's all you're going to get. That. I'm not even going to speak. I'm not even going to speak. Um, Listen... Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course, hit that notification bell. I'm trying to get my TV on here. I don't even think I've put it in properly. I'm like, why ain't my TV switched on? Like, what's going on? Sorry about this, folks. Um, my monitor's broke. I'm a bit late. I'm a bit late. My girlfriend came to see me. That's why I'm a bit late. Um, we were just having a chin work because I've had my kids, so I haven't seen her since last week. So she popped in to see me. Brought me some evaporated milk. Brought me some evaporated milk because she started um, making me Costa Rican coffees with evaporated milk. And um, that's why it's not thing because I didn't have my HDMI in properly. Um, yeah, so so um, I love coffees with evaporated milk now. So, yeah, I've just had that. And that's why I'm late, but we're here now. Uh, please smash a like on the video. We've got 178. But boof, let's get them smashed up. Uh, as you can see... The Leeds United lineup is unchanged. So Melier in goal. Um, Gray, right back. Joe Rodan Ampadu, centre back. Third pole, left back. Midfield, Gruyev Kamara. Somerville, Rutter, James. Behind that man, Pat. Um, <laughs> Ian, Chimwag. That's what we'll call it when you're. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, Le. You know. 
Um, <laughs> girl, no stuff eat. Uh, yeah, no, she doesn't know about Bamford. Big up, Christopher Spofford Chapel. Nice to see you, man. Um, <laughs> the chat's got me giggling. You got me. Um, yeah, okay. So let me uh, get the Sunderland line up. Let me get the Sunderland line up as well. Um, right, where is it? Let me go on here. Let's see what Sunderland are moving with. Um, listen, 2-0 two, two is my thing. 2-0. Um, and I'd love Pat. Just, do you know what? It's not even a case so I can revel in it. I don't want to do that. I did, did it earlier in the season. I don't want to do it, promise you. I want it so that we can just talk, stop talking about it for a bit. Please. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's let's just stop talking about it for a bit. Because if he doesn't score and has a stinker again, then we're just going to be talking about it. And it's it's really hurting my head. Do you know what I mean? Um, like Tony O'Shea says, like Bamford's the reason we are third. It's not, though, is it? Do you know what I mean? We know the, the, the deal. It's not. It's not as linear as just saying the reason we are um, in third is because of Pat. It's not. Um, but I hear it. So let's hopefully he can score so we can all stop talking about and we can all stop falling out. Because I'm even fall it, falling out with people I class as mates. Do you know what I mean over it? So football's emotional, as we know. Um, I'm going to go through their lineup in a second. Um, so Jack Clark as well. Feck off, Clark. Joe Bellingham did a bit of a bit of a job as well. So the lineup for Sunderland then: Patterson, Pembele, Trey Hume. Ballard, Luco Nine, Styles, Neil, Equa, Rig, Clark, and Joe Bellingham. Um, no, no, Leo Hilda. Listen, do you know there's them people out there, the stats heads, telling you Leo Hilda was a baller. I spoke to my driving instructor today, and he said it's the worst two million they've ever spent. Just putting it out there. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, let me uh, let me get the game on. We're on Sky Artware. Um, we're on Sky tonight, but um, Leicester kick off as well, don't they? Leicester kick off at uh, quarter, so we can watch a bit of Leicester. They've got Millwall tonight. Um, and Let me just turn that down, Leicester chat in there. Don't forget as well that um, um, tomorrow I'll be doing the Ipswich game as well. Okay. Uh, big Gary Paul, big up, says one year, mate. What? Long time up, you well. Come on, Leeds. Yeah, big up to you, Gary. I hope you well. I haven't heard from you in a bit, mate. Hope things are going well. Um, love this name. Hate the comment. Uh, but Gipton Gimp says Bamford, Bamford will have the usual stinker guarantee. Let's let's uh, let's hope not. Let's let's hope not. Um, morning from Thailand, Joe. An alarm call and ready to go. Three 0 with Paddy getting the first. I would love that, mate. Um. I mean, maybe he's just shit, bro. I think maybe... Like, do you know what really frustrates me with stuff like this, though, Damar? Is, like, why is it that us fans all say, yeah, but he's a centre-back, yeah, but he's a centre-back, but every single manager that's played him has played him at left-back? It's almost like they know the game more than we do. Maybe. Just a little bit. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe. Uh, William Babbitt says, is Nonto struggling for fitness? Yeah, so, look, Nonto and Roberts were supposed to be out for three weeks, people. Three weeks, and they were on the bench. I think more out of necessity than anything. I think if this was the middle of the season, they wouldn't be used. They wouldn't be used. But, you know, that's that's maybe maybe why. Um, because it's sort of like needs must at this stage of the season. I don't know what, what's going on with my cameraman. Um, I've done an update earlier on, and it feels like this update's not, not helping things. Um, mm hmm if it doesn't move. Sorry about this, folks. I'm just making sure because this is a bit dodge for me. I don't like how it's positioned. Ah, there we go. There, it's letting me move it around. Right there, that's perfect. Studio light on. Studio light off. On, I think. Um... Yeah, Jack Clark being back, not great, is it? Not great. Um, what's madness? Name is Liam. Talk to me. What's madness? Talk to me. Uh, good lineup. Hopefully, Bamford gets out of a rut. Gets. Yeah, that's what I'd like. Eh? And if he's in a rut, then then sub him. Yeah, I hear. You, I hear. You. Let's do it. Honestly, I can't. I'm not even into it. I just want us all to get along. We need to all get along. Um, Please. Um, 
Hopefully Archer has a better game against Clark. Yeah, he, he struggled in the first half. Struggled in the first half at uh, Stadium of Light, but then I thought he, he did well. This is why I got this shirt on, by the way, because this is the shirt that Bamford got his hat-trick in against, uh, against Villa. So I'm channeling channeling that part. So that's where I'm at. Um, definitely. Right, okay. Um, there's the lineups anyway. Um, let's have a look. Andrea's on a mad one. Um, yeah, mad. Um, what's is everyone happy with the lineup? I'm gonna ask the I'm gonna ask the chat. I'm gonna ask a poll. Are you happy with the lineup? While I do that, folks, don't forget to smash a like. We got 256 likes, so let's get that up to 500. Want over a thousand live viewers if we can. Um, everyone's saying no. Well, let's see. Some maybe. Some maybe, folks. Um, I put a poll in the chat. We'll have a little bit. Uh, Kamara is dung. I think no, Rysel. He's not performed well of late, but but could change, right? Um, could 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 change. He's not he's not rubbish. Um, but yeah, I hear I hear why everyone's upset. But uh, vote in the poll and we'll have a chat about it. We'll have a chat about it. Um, Fatawu isn't starting for Leicester yet. Um, I don't think he was. Um, I don't think he was great last time out. Uh, Richard Ross says five games. Five good games for Bamford every season, not good enough. We need to go straight up as we won't go up for the players. Why is Bamford still playing and not happy with the lineup? That's fair enough, mate. I think it's more than five, though. Um, because, I mean, he scored seven, hasn't he? Seven in 13 starts or something, so it's probably more than five. Um, fans are always behind Bamford. There is only so much fans can do. It's up to the players to do what's required for the football club, yeah. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say all fans are behind Bamford, though, would you? I think that's... That's probably not true. Um, what's bench like, says Mike Reed. Okay, let me find the bench for you now, and uh, I'll share that with you. Um, right, okay, one second. If it doesn't hurt at all, it doesn't mean a thing. Uh, hopefully you can make it out there along the bottom, mate. But it's Carl Darlow, Connor Roberts, Sam Byram, Charlie Creswell, Liam Cooper, Jaden Anthony, Willie Nonto, Joel Pirro, and Matteo Joseph. Um, for sure. Um, yes, you can, Jamie. Yeah, you can. But not just you. We're talking about everyone, right? Like it's. I know that there's people out there that don't support him. You just have to look at the compilation video that I've put out, and you'll see. Um, although I have muted it. So I don't know what's been said since, because that's what I do now. So I just tweet and then and then mute, because <laughs> sometimes it's it's just better to do that. Um, yeah. Um, like people say, I said support Bamford. People have quote tweeted it and said no. Like don't get it. He's your striker, so you have to. Um, you have to support him at this point. Um, just look at the comments on that. Um. Do you know what I mean? You've just to do that. Someone said. <laughs> someone says. Um, someone's response was, "You're going to get abused tonight if he doesn't score." Well, why? You, you should. Yeah, it's mad. It is toxic. It is. But that's why I mute it. So I won't even know. <laughs> uh, Samson Allen, my thoughts on the lineup. Look, I also advocate. I'd have changed. I liked what Pirro did. I like. I genuinely liked what Pirro did. I liked what Maj Matteo Joseph done. Up to this point, up to this point, I've said I've not seen enough. Uh, yes, you can hark back to the Chelsea game, and and I hear that, but I've not seen enough. However, against Coventry was the first game where I've gone, okay, okay, because. Watford, he bundles in a chance. He's there, don't get me wrong, but he's just he's just bundled in a chance. It's just my opinion, folks. You you can agree or disagree. He's a mate, yeah, he's come on, he's scored. Yeah, he's bundled in a chance. But what really impressed me against Coventry was his link-up play. His link-up play, he was beating defenders to balls in order to nick it out to Pirro. He created the chance for Pirro that Pirro missed late on. But again, you do have to take into consideration that Matteo Joseph isn't leading the line on his own at that point. He's got Pirro on the pitch. 
He's got Bamford on the pitch. He's got all these other people on the pitch. Um, so there's all these different things. Um, but anyway, we've done, we've done, we've done a death. The uh, the Bamford chat. We don't need to do it, do we? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, one second. Um, Right, okay. Um, Lockie's at the ground tonight. Love it. Um, Andrea, what's he saying? Uh, what's Andrea saying? Is he about tonight? I need to know if the lads are about tonight for the post match. Anyway, don't I? Let me uh, let me find. Um, I've not even sorted out my post match for tonight. I need to, sorry about this, I forgot. Um, I forgot to sort out my post-match people, um, so I need to get on that. I think Evie said she was, so we'll get Evie tonight. I think she'd said the other day. I know Jack's at the game, Luke's at the game, Jay's at the game. Lockie's at the game tonight. Let's see what Jay's saying. Um, who else have we got? Loving you. Is in my DNA. Oh, oh. Also, folks, I'm on the hunt. Um, I'm on the hunt for... I've already located another... Um, some more female content creators. Uh, Polly Cummings as well. I tried to send you a message, but I don't know if you've received it. Um, but, yeah, I'm on the hunt for some more uh, female content creators, if we can. Because we've only really got Evie at the minute. Um, so it'd be great if we could potentially get some more in the uh, in the space. So if you are interested, then give us a shout, please, because um, it'd be great. Because I do see, I yo, I give Chris Kelly many shouts, man. He, he pies me these days. I uh, don't know where he's at. Uh, I'll message him now, though. Um, see what he's saying. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Um, I t one sec. Um, Loving you is in my DNA. You'll throw a wig on. <laughs> Tommy, I haven't, no. I haven't done the, um, I haven't got, um, I haven't put a bet on, no. I've done an accumulator, but I've not. Uh, Yeah, Campbell got to support Scott. Got to support the team. Sean says get Connor on. Yeah, listen, um, Connor sent me a message about going on his the other day, but um, I was busy, so yeah. Um, I feel that that <laughs> we just argue at this stage. You know what I mean? We just argue. We'll just argue at this stage. Now we wouldn't, but we have different views, obviously. I had my meltdown in on uh, social media for everyone, for all to see. Um, anyway. Oh, Connor's at the game anyway, says Damar. Um, there you go. Get the... Get that badger in. Yeah, Jack's Jack's at the game. Um <laughs> Jay the Leeds lad says, uh uh Joe, why Bamford starting again? FFS. <laughs> yeah, chatting beans, yeah, 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 yeah. Um anyway, it is what it is. We move. Um I have found one though. Found one. Um No, Kit's not around anymore. Um, right, let's have a look. Um, <laughs> uh, let's just have a look at the um, at the poll. So, look, this is the the thing. Um, Sixty one percent of people are happy with the lineup. They're happy with the lineup, people. Sixty one percent. 
61% of people out there are happy with the lineup. Um, there you go. Over a thousand people watching, by the way, 363 likes. Um, so if you haven't already, please do smash a like on the video for me. Um, so more people are happy. Um, more people are happy than they're not. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Lee's Leeds makes a good point and says, um, one second. Um, and I think there's a lot to be, we have to think about this as well. We can't be changing things on a gamble just because we lost one game. Exactly. But performance haven't been great for free, but I hear what, what, what you're at. Um, smash a light yet. Um, the lineup has took us to this tally. You don't get that being a bad side. I know. Um, 61%. This is what I will say, yeah. Um, that I don't know, like, this is what, and I don't want to, I don't know if this is right, and I don't know if I'm going to say it right, and I hope I'm not going to upset anyone when I'm saying this, but the more positive people tend to be the silent majority. And it's those that are the more negative. This is what my observation is. Those that are more negative are the loudest. Um, and maybe that's just a mentality thing because you can have so many positive comments. You can be told you look beautiful. Say if you're anybody, anything, not just not just YouTube, but let's say for example, you can be told you drive well, you drive well, you drive well, and someone will say, "Fuck, it's how you driving out." You'll focus on that. So maybe me as a person see all the negative and, and focusing on that. Because I know sometimes the chat go to me, leave them alone, Joe. Leave them alone. Like, not in leave them alone as in you're having a go, but like, stay away from the negative comments, Joe. But it's hard for me to do. Because I see it and latch onto it and say, no, you're wrong. Rah! Do you know what I mean? Um, so the fact that, you know, 61%, so the majority are saying it's a good lineup. But if you look at the chat, everyone's saying Bamford shit. But the majority of those that voted in the poll think it's a good lineup. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Silent majority, yeah, exactly. Um, see, Juki won't be, though. He definitely won't be. This is the point. He's not going, oh, what have I... He's fucking, what is he, 18, 19, 20? Like, come on. You know? So... Yeah, I think it's mad. Um, yeah, I am, but I'm on YouTube, Nick. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? I'm on YouTube. Um, oh, what's this? Men are more ready to repay an injury than a benefit because gratitude is a burden and revenge a pleasure. That's from Tacitus. That must be... Is it a Gre Greek mythology or something, Steve? Love the picture, love the quote, actually. actually that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, gra to be grateful is a burden. Whereas to... Poke fun at others may be a pleasure, yeah. That's a good point. That little beep you could hear anyway is because my favourite Italian's in the house. Let me just make sure I can hear him first and foremost. Um, um, Martin R, not true, bro. Not true. Not true, because I can have a different opinion with, say, Andrea, who's coming on over, who should play in the ten. That's a different opinion. I wouldn't then say, Andre, you're negative. So I don't think that's right in my observation. But let's um, let's get on with uh, Andrea now. Broski, how are you? Mr. I feel Wayman. like I haven't seen you <laughs> for like weeks, by the way. I've missed you. Yeah, I know. Miss you too. Yeah, man. Uh, what, what was the last game we, we, we spoke? I think was the, yeah, against Tall Pro. No, not Tall. The, the one before, I think. One before yeah, against Watford. 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 Yeah, 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 it was Watford. It was yeah. one of us for always busy, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man, you have been. You you've been very busy of late. Yeah. How are you feeling right now, though, bro? How are you feeling? Um, uh, you know, in the Leeds United. How are you feeling after the loss? Obviously, I've seen a lot of it on on um, on um, on our group chat. But yeah. how are you feeling for those that are watching? Where's your head at currently? Well, about the game, of course, really, really nervous, you know, really excited. And uh, I think we have all the tools to get three points tonight, but it'd be like the last three games, a difficult matchup, you know, because if you remember the, the game, of course, you had a lot of ups and downs during the season, uh, Sunderland, but, you know, they, team, they are a team that runs a lot and that could cause us problems, you know, very similar to, to what for now, 
in that in that regard. You know, have good wingers. They have uh, both physical and pacey players in midfield. So I think it, it will be a very tight matchup again. And especially in a moment that we're, we're not at our best physically and mentally, probably in terms of uh, of fitness. A lot of players have been injured. Um, but overall, apart from the game, um, I wasn't really happy, uh, honestly, after after Coventry, but not for the loss, you know, but overall looking at, uh, you know, the spaces and the comments, you know, uh, I have to say I watched the game later, not not live because it was another game um, here in Italy. But I was really disappointed to see um, the way Leeds Twitter, let's call it like that, reacted, honestly. Uh, mm. Our club is different from the others for one reason. It's said before self every time. In the last few days, wasn't on Twitter, you know. Mm. And one thing is Twitter. One thing is real life. Of course, there's people in Leeds. You know, they talk and they realize the, the reality. Everyone is entitled to have his own opinion. But yeah. you know, you cannot blame a single player for a loss. No, no. no. And, and if you want to blame Bamford, Bamford is not playing well recently. That's a fact. He had made some miss, but if you look at the games before, he was one of the best players because he mm. was scoring and everybody was, oh, Bamford, everybody was in Ave. Everybody was in Ave. Yeah. Now, he made he, he, he made two huge misses in the last in the last games, you know, and everybody is turned against him like they did with Cooper at Watford. Yeah. yeah. Players that are here since a, a, a lot of years, you know. But you can criticize Bamford, but tell me why. Everybody says it's not scoring. Yeah, okay. But look at, uh, no, not not just at that, you know. Look at all around them. There's no, there's no, mid, the midfield has no, um, no progression, no verticality yeah. recently. Kamara yeah. is not playing well too. Talk about Kamara too. We're relying too much on the wingers. Somerville is uh, relying a lot. If you, if you hear something, is the, the food already is, is uh, I'm preparing dinner. No, it's so fine. It's fine, bro. Um, so we're relying too much on the wingers many times. The, the real problem, I don't think the, the, the strikers have the real problem right now. The real problem is in the midfield because we have players who are absolutely knackered, who are underperforming. I think Kamara, unfortunately, is underperforming recently. He's not progressing oh, with the yeah, ball. For sure. Sometimes his positioning is really bad. And uh, especially on the, on the second goal against Watford is because of him. And you know, it's it's been a, a lot of uh, other, other points. It, it's overall, you know, it's not just just one or two players, you know. Um, that that's why you know I was disappointed. But I accept criticism on players, but you know, sometimes it feels like there's campaignings, prepare campaignings, you know, yeah. just to jump on board on a trend. You know, it, it's not it's not a fan then. It's interactions driven. It's like that. I can accept, and I, I, I said it myself, Manfred is not playing well. But he's not playing well because he's moving well sometimes, but physically, in terms of fitness sometimes, he's not on par with the, the pace of the game. Mm. His confidence doesn't seem uh, up here, you know, now. Yeah. But we have to back him like all the other players. Of course, yeah. you can, we can criticize the performances, but the performances. Sometimes it feels like it's, it feels like it's personal and People, yeah. certain people, not saying everyone, of course. It, it's like a brigade, you know, the GM brigade, the same people back in March and all that, you know, forcing this narrative. Let's support yeah. the players. Right now, fitness and mentality are more crucial than tactics sometimes because it's the eat of the game. If we lose tonight or we we, we drop points again, it, it, it's really, really bad. So it, it's, it's not the time now to jump on players yeah. and all of that, you know. It's time to back the players after the game if they are, they haven't played well. Okay, let's criticize them, but explain why they haven't played well. Mm -hmm. Not just it's not it's not score. Explain yeah. me why. Look at, at this world performance. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I mean, you know, for in in your opinion, like, would you have m maybe changed something today, Andrea? Like. Like, because I, I, I said I'm not against Joseph starting. I'm not against Piro starting in the 10. I thought he looked good or, you know, just personnel changes elsewhere. Would you have liked to have seen Farker change something going into this? I know we've had chats, haven't we, in our group, but for the purpose of the vid, mate, what, what is it you would have changed? Yeah, I would have liked one or two changes, honestly, because I think those players were absolutely knackered and the way they, the, the other teams are playing against us. Against doesn't fit certain players. So, honestly, I would have liked to see Gray 
alongside in midfield alongside either Gruyev or Ampadu. But I really think Ampadu right now, the way the other teams are playing, we're relying on him too much at the back as the deep-line playmaker because the midfield is non-existent. The midfield struggles a lot. So the only the only problem, you know, is that if you need Ampadu in midfield, you can, you can play both Gruyev and Ampadu. So you have to play. Right now, Cooper had his chance, you know, the pace of the game, uh, the way the other teams are playing, you know, high pressing, it, it doesn't fit Cooper. So you you have to be brave sometimes, and and thinking, you know, you have to, to in terms of pace and the way of matching the pace of the game. Uh, the the only other solution is Cresswell if you want to play Ampel there. Mm. So I would have liked with Ampel, Gruyev, and, and Gray in midfield, but I, and Roberts at the right back. But I get that Farke said that Roberts is not ready. And the other, other change, because I think Rotor is really, really struggling in terms of fitness after his surgery too. I I, I said it after Watford. I think Joseph can play be, behind Bamford too, because he's really versatile. He's very fast. He always played one or two touches. One, two, passes the ball and sprints. He's, he's never static. He's never in the same positioning. So he, he, can, he can play the game the way um, Rotor plays it, because he's really versatile. And I think he can be tried there because Jorginho is really, really stuck with to get involved. And another reason we're not getting forward in terms of verticality is because Jorginho is not coming back and he's struggling to um, to find space to get the ball and be an option, you know, to progress the ball, a pass option, you know, from for the two the, for the midfield duo, you know. And that's why the ball is always going to Somerville on the left or going back to the centre backs and then going to James on the right. That, and that's why we're, we're relying too much on the wingers. So if a rotor is not fit yet at that level of 100%, he's still struggling after surgery, you know, yeah. why, why not try Joseph there? Because I think he has the skills and the traits to, to play behind Bamford. Behind Bamford, because I think mm -hmm. if you play with a 10 playing like more of a second striker, because that's the way, you know, playing all around, I think Joseph can play there too, honestly, for the way he plays. And we've seen it when he came on. At Coventry, that and he can really space and be an option because uh, of his versatility in the final third, you know, all around better than Piro, I think, because Piro is more static, you know, uh, in, in that regard. I think Piro is, um, is struggling still. Of course, he scored, he, he may he had a huge miss, but the thing is, I think he's a finisher, and we've seen the majority of his goals coming inside of the box, you know, but. I think he's the player that struggles the most to get involved in his system still in in April, and that's that's the the, um, the struggle, you know, because I really want him to thrive. He's shown that the under a different system at Swansea, he can score, he can be more involved. But every time he comes on, you know, he may score, but overall he still struggles. I think to 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 give us what we want from him. I think because yeah. he has different skill and straight to compared to our system, you know. That's yeah. that's my. My struggle, you know, because I really want him to thrive, honestly. Yeah, no, I hear it. I hear it. Um, a lot of a lot of those, um, you know, um, agree agreeing with you in the chat, mate. There's quite a lot of people. Yeah, they may even disagree. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no democracy, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, That's the the beauty of football: agreeing and yeah. disagreeing. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, like obviously, just our look, really. That um. Just I look really that that Jack Clark's back for this game because uh, he's their he's their key man. He proved to be their key man when we played them at the Stadium of Light, and he's had a couple of months off, and then he's fit for this game. Just I look, do you, are you concerned about him, or or do you think Gray has grown as a player, as an individual since that first fixture, and and, and hope that you know Gray can lock him off? How do you see that battle going? So I think it'll be a key battle. I think it'll be a key battle. I think Gray has grown honestly. Mm. Um, so honestly, I I cannot write history down because I don't have a, uh, I don't I don't see the future, but it's really open. Right now, I don't see a winner in that battle because they are two good players, yeah. two both yeah. good products of of our academy. I think Gray has the ability to block Clark, but also Clark has the ability to go past Gray. You know, mm. they are both good players, um, and Archie. Uh, I think he's really good in positioning, but 1v1 sometimes. He's really good in recovery, in tackles. Uh, we've seen him struggling at Preston and um, and against, of course, at Sunderland, you know, when he was taken on 1v1. 
yeah. there's different wingers and I think Clark is the type of winger that causing problems but you know uh, the way we play is like having Rodon also behind them in that area so it's like having two players on him uh, because when we play this system and we have Guru it's like a three four two one in the end when we are in possession because mm-hmm. the the number six drops back so if one of the two um, fullbacks gets gets beaten, there's always a player behind behind that. You know, Rodon on the right and Ampadu on, on the left usually when when Gruyev drops back. And mm-hmm. I think that's why um, um, that's why Fak played Gruyev again today. Um, he doesn't want to change the system. That's that, that's why. But I'm really more concerned, honestly, than the battle on the wingers of the wingers. You know, in the middle. Because I really think that Kamara and and Gruyev, because uh, Gruyev is is good, he stays back sometimes, you know, to cover that area. But Kamara tends to 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 drift to a certain place and leaving gaps. Right now, I noticed that against Watford and and all especially. And I think if he's not in a good moment of his form, you know, he also also affects his positioning when we need to, him to defend. And that's why, because they have a, a, a good midfielders in terms of making central runs, you know, trying to cut uh, and get into the final third. So being like an option in the middle for the wingers, you know, because they will try to get the balls to the wingers, but they will try to crowd, also occupy certain spaces out of our box, you know, outside of the area. And that's where I'm more uh, concerned, you know, because I think in terms of pace, they are more pace than our midfield duo. If you look at their midfield, you know, and mm-hmm. yeah, I have the the 11s here that I placed in the, them here, you know, so Ekva, they play with Rig today, but Styles. He's only 16, on Rig, apparently. Yeah. Is that right? He's only a young yeah, lad. Yeah. yeah, he's a young lad, but also Callum Styles, you know, with Daniel on mm. at the back, you know, as the, as the number six. Really great, right, Daniel, honestly. He's uh, having his ups and downs like every team, but I, I think he's a good player, honestly. And um, Ekva, you know, physically, and, you know, if you look at their midfield, Clark stays outside, but Callum Styles is so versatile. Plays for Angry too, you know. And he can cut inside. They have Hume, you know. He, he can Tricky he can play player. also. Yeah, we, we mentioned him in the scouting report, and you made also a, yeah. a video recently about him, I, re- I remember, yeah. as yeah. a as a possibility, as a possible player. Yeah. Hume is really good in cutting inside, occupying space. You're like, you remember when we, we played with Yelda at the, at the beginning of the season, you know. Uh, we had, like, Yelda or, or um, the other player, you know. Uh, at the beginning, with the differences that I used to play, play like an adjoint in midfield, you know, you can do that too. So, yeah. How do you uh, how, see? I look, I'll be honest with you, Andre. This is the most like, I don't know if scared's the right word, like nervous I've been all season. You know, I've been pretty confident going into every game saying. You know, we're going to win. And I think we will win tonight. But I'm like, we're going to get top two. You know, we're, we're, we're going to go up. And this is genuinely be the first time this season, post Coventry and leading up to this game, where I'm where I'm probably the most nervous I've been for a week's worth of football. Obviously, we've got Sunderland tonight and then we play again on Saturday. These are must-win games now, right? Like, these next two, um, we have to get six points from, surely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think Ipswich have a difficult schedule too because they have to play against Hull, against Borough, them yeah. too, and Coventry. And I don't think they, I think, not I don't think, I think they, it's 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 a, it's a challenge for them because they really play a similar style of football to them and we've seen them play, you know, Ipswich all attack, they leave gaps, in, gaps at the back, but they're really probably the best team, I think, going forward, of course. If you look at the goals, you know, uh, throughout the seasons, the way they they have created it, I think the um, the offense the offensive playbook, you know, uh, that something like American football, there, um, their offensive playbook is really really versatile. They're really smart. The way we play offensively, they leave gaps in behind. They're not they don't have the best defense, honestly. No. If you look at the names, but you know they they they've been also they had a good mentality because you know we we say we we said you know that. They they were lucky, of course they were sometimes because of the deflection deflected goals. But for play to them because they keep going till the last minute and they attack with all bodies forward. Look at the at the recent goal that Samiento made, you know, scored recently. 
um, they they keep getting forward. They only know one way of playing the, the game. And but I think that can leave gaps, you know, against Coventry and all, especially less less with Boro, but Boro got a good side too. And that's another fix, you know, going to the Riverside that I really uh, I am concerned about right now. Uh, tonight we'll we we'll need answers, but I think the, the real answers will arrive on Saturday because tonight we're playing again. It's a midweek fixture. We are fatigued. The other team is fatigued too. So, you know, midweek fixtures in, in, in this particular period of, of the season are, are tricky. They can give certain answers, mm. you know. But, you know, what you need is continuity and fitness plays a, a huge, huge part. And that's why I'm really concerned about the midfield because they don't look really up to the pace of the games, recently recent games, you know, that's where we okay. suffered the most, honestly. That was our key, you know, up before the international break. After the international break, we stopped the verticality and the progression, you know, in midfield. That's that's what needs to change from tonight on, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I love that word verticality, mate. I love it when you use that. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, is, is that yeah, right? No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just great when you say it, bro, yeah. Yeah, verticality. Um, <laughs> yeah, we we it is must must win. It is must win, and and hopefully we will. Uh, the rest of the championship games have kicked off as well. It's nil nil everywhere. Obviously, Millwall down at the Den. Um, I fancy Leicester to probably win yeah. the league from here. Do you? To, yeah, I think yeah. I think Leicester wins the league. Yeah, we arrive second and Ipswich third for me. Uh, I posted the the, the simulation on, on our chat. You know, if you yeah, if you yeah. remember, so yeah. 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 Listen, forget dream on the day of the Southampton game. If Leeds United go up on that day game, uh, them numbers will be insane. We'll hit 30k well before that. Don't watch that. Um, yeah, I've no 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 worries there. Um, mate, if things aren't going our way, uh, naturally, a lot of people are going to be, um, you know, screaming, make changes, make changes, make changes. Um what what would you like to see? Would you, is it a case of bringing Pirro on? Is it a case of, you know, using Matteo Joseph for 45? Like, how, what would you do, mate? I know it's hard to make that make that decision without actually seeing the game unfold yeah, and what absolutely. needs to change. But but is it a case of just saying, just get fucking Joseph on and see what he can do? Is it as simple as that? The ace yeah, that, in the that's pack? what's going to happen, probably. Yeah. That's what's going to happen, you know, and... I may agree with that, you know, because in the end, I yeah. think he's he's so so versatile that um, he can play all the on the wing behind the striker and as the number nine. So, yeah, I would like him honestly to to come on if we don't if Rotor is struggling. I really hope he's, he's back to his best tonight. Yeah, I would like to see him come on and play like in a free role behind the striker, like a second striker, you know, but moving around. Because I think he can play there, and he's shown that he has the capability to move well. And we also link a player and shoot from outside the box. And yeah. I think he's really dangerous in the one-on-one -on -one situation too. He is good in doing the all the play, in moving around all the player too. But I think from outside the box, he can be a threat, mm -hmm. a real threat. And another player, I think we'll see if we're struggling in the midfield will be the switch of Graham midfield. Yeah. Gria will stay on for me, and, it, and, it, and I think Roberts will play 20 minutes tonight, because of course they asked they ask him and he said uh, he's not ready to start because he doesn't uh, he, he, he's not ready to play. Sorry, the 90 minutes, so I think he yeah. will play 20 minutes probably. That was, that's the thing I know you've like after the presser I was seeing all these different lineups and I'm like you've clearly not listened to the presser because in the presser he told you that Robertson Nonto won't be fit until Borough to start 90 minutes he also said that Bamford will start up top so there shouldn't really have been major surprises with the lineup because Farker basically told us all on bloody Monday or whenever it was you know uh, yesterday yeah. sorry so yeah um yeah I'm not surprised really um yeah we'll 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 have to wait and see won't we um they're all over these, Joe. I know. I've got it on now, actually. Uh, Mill Millwall. Uh, um, is it? It's a Millwall corner as well. So, listen, going to the dens, it's it's something you've got to continue, like contend with. It ain't easy. It ain't easy going to the den. But look, I do think Leicester will come through it. Um, it's a set piece actually for Millwall. It's headed out. Um, hopefully they can. Like, listen, folks. Football is wild. For all we know, Leeds could win tonight, and Leicester and. 
uh, Ipswich might drop points and we'll all be sat here going, we're going to win the league again. Do you know what I mean? They've got another corner now of Millwall as well. So, so happy days. We're only seven minutes away from kickoff. I'm going to press you for a score prediction, Andrea, for tonight's game and who's going to score them. Um, I think it's it's again tied, so I'm going to say 1-0, honestly, one tonight. 1-0, goal scorer. In... Yeah, some of it is the easy, the easy answer, probably, but maybe a switch of the play. James. I'm going to say James. Yeah, let's trust James for tonight. James. <laughs> yeah, well, switch of the play, maybe on the other side. I'm genuinely not asked who finish. scores it. But yeah, just win it. <laughs> if I could pick anybody right now, I'd love Pat. Just to score, yeah, just so we can just, just leave him alone at least till Saturday. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? Lo- 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 um, lucky to score from the stands. Yeah, know, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I channeled my Bam- my Bamford when he scored the hat-trick against Villa. I seen this Villa, in the yeah. wardrobe and I thought, right, I've got to wear that sh- shirt. because Great shirt, he, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah he... Uh, he scored there, so so let's wait and see. Herbert says Kamara hat trick. DFG see. says oh, senior Furport. Coventry have got a pen apparently. Uh, they're playing Southampton. Um, so yeah, listen. I tell you what, I'm gonna ask you a quick question actually before uh, before I let you go. Watford since playing us and since Tom Cleverley have come in, they have f- they're undefeated in four. They play Ipswich tomorrow. Do you think Watford can do something um, against Ipswich? Obviously, they drew against us. They drew against West Brom. Um, I think they drew against Preston. So they've played some decent teams and got points. So can they do something against Ipswich? They can, but honestly, I'm not much optimistic. Um, I think Ipswich are slightly better than them. And in this period of the season, in terms of um, the way they're playing, so... Honestly, I think Ipswich get the three points tonight. I hope they jinx, I jinx them, but I think 2-1 probably for Ipswich, you know. Yeah. I think yeah. Watford can, will score a goal tomorrow night. Yeah, so do Port I. Yeah, Road, yeah. But I think Ipswich, you know, maybe <laughs> towards the final minute, 2-1, honestly. I think they turn yeah. them around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure, mate. For sure. Right. Well, um, I will. If you're about at half time, Andrea, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, pop sure. in. Um, and also, obviously, I've, what I have done now is is sent you the uh, link for the post match as well. Yeah. So there'll be there'll be a few in tonight. It's great to have you back, brother. Thank you for giving up great, some time, great, mate. Great to see your face, and uh, I'll see you at half time, my man. Bye bye. All right, mate. See you later. Uh, there we go. Apparently, Hadji Wright hit the crossbar on the penalty. Uh, but anyway, it don't really matter, does it? It don't really matter. I don't give it. Uh, Southampton are out of it. Um, <laughs> so I won't worry uh, too too much uh, too much about that one. Um, listen, I'm yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Um, Oh, one sec. Um, I am nervous. Uh, Norwich apparently 1-0 up. Big up to Andrea as well for jumping on, by the way. Yeah, Norwich 1-0 up against Sheffield Wednesday. Coventry missed the pen then. I was going to say, because I didn't get a notification. I was like, yeah, penalty kick missed. Um, had you right, scored against us, then misses a penalty. The clown. Uh, but that's a big let-off for, for Southampton. Um, listen, I'm, I'm at the stage, like, in my mind, yeah, in my mind, and uh, this is genuinely all I have done for the last... Well, since the weekend, really, is just pray. I've just been going, please, Pat, please, please. That's all. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, why do you need Coventry to lose? Why? Why, why do you need, why? Nah, just win. Just beat Southampton. I don't know. Uh, don't be nervous. We score early tonight. I'd love nothing more, my man. I genuinely wouldn't love nothing more, um, but yeah, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Uh, chance there for Leicester City goes uh, into the keeper's clutches. Ten minutes in, Vardy playing tonight as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, listen. If I haven't, uh, if you haven't already, please like the video for me. Just having a look. We've got six hundred and fifty. Um, and there's 1,200 people, which is great, before we've even kicked off. Uh, rolling towards 30k as well. The dream is to achieve that before the end of the season. So hit the subscribe button and give the like button a good old smash. 
I've also uh, arranged the 4th of May. So after the Southampton game, I'll be going down to Millennium Square. So, well, I say all this, I might not be yet. <laughs> I've got the hotel sorted and that, but... You know, I'm, uh, we might not be X, we might not get promoted, eh? Uh, but if you are down, hopefully I'll see you all at Millennium Square or partying in Leeds on the night because that's where I plan to be on the 4th of May in some nightclub somewhere with me tits out, you know, singing to uh, singing Leeds United songs. It's going to be lit, in it. Um, have to see a reaction tonight, says Bobby. Uh, let's hope, you know, let's hope we do do that. Um, let's hope we can do that. Don't forget to smash the like on the video. I'm going to switch on over now from uh, Millwall versus Leicester and uh, get ready for some uh, for some Leeds United versus Sunderland. They're ready now to come out onto the pitch, folks. Um, let me take these off as well. Um, let's take them off. Don't need them because I'm not talking to anyone. Uh, will you be on the call side? I will be there. We will be there, my guy. I will be there. Um... So, yeah, um, I will be there. Uh, always love tuning in, Joe. Big up to you, my man says. Matty, big up to you, Matty. Thank you for tuning in, broski. It means a lot. Ethan Ampadu walks them out. Um, Joe, do you think this is a defining match? Too early to say, Sandra. This is the mad thing. If we lose, people will say, game over. And I get it. But it all depends on what Ipswich does. Like, if we lose and tomorrow Ipswich win, then yes. But if they also lost, then it'd just roll on another week. So it's too difficult to say. If 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 you told me though, if your question was we lose and Leicester and Ipswich win, then I would probably say yes. You know, then I would probably say yes. I will see you there, Shawnee. I expect pints bought a plenty. I expect not to spend any money apart from my travel down and my hotel. <laughs> uh, another pen for the lionesses. Oh, lion! I thought you meant for the lions, i.e., Millwall. Oh, right, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, well, okay. Um, hi, Joe, my... My... My mister made me subscribe, but I love you, so I'll go big up Rachel Wilson. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you've got to subscribe, man. You've got to help the channel. Uh, you've got to help the channel. Uh, anyone who's not watching who isn't subscribed, please subscribe, because it massively helps. Uh, it helps with the algorithm. Smash a like, helps. So we're rolling towards 30k. Hit the subscribe button and give the like button a good old smash, folks. Let's see where we're at. I am going to turn off flash scores now, so I don't get... Um, don't get notifications. Um, through. Uh, yeah, so 740, nearly 1,400 people watching... I'm breaking it. I can't lie to you. I am absolutely breaking it. Right, so we can do them, though. So, so listen, I'll be real with you. Yeah, Leeds United, Sunderland haven't been beaten in four at Ellen Road. Daniel Fark has never beaten the Black Cats, but away from home this season, they have been pretty dire. Leeds United have been in imperious form at home. At home. So long may that continue. Uh, long may that continu continue. Um... Big up, to, big up to you. We need to win. Yes, we do. Um, Life Hut says Super Brentford. Big up to Brentford. Um, no, Paco Mac. Like, this is wild. And I'll tell you for why. Because just look at Southampton's form, bro. They've, like, got three points in the last four games. That's catastrophizing. They have three points in four. To say that they're going to catch us is a little bit wild. Uh, they might win tonight, but even still, imagine we had three points in four games. Things would be bleak from a fan base perspective. So let's not rewrite history. Um, they've got three points. One loss, three draws. If we had one loss and three draws, shit. Shit. The fan base would be in a meltdown. Um, right, okay. So let's get ready anyway. Leeds United in for the huddle here. They know what it means, peeps. Um... They know what it means. We know what it means. It's time to get ready for... Um, let's have a look. I think they've switched ends, have they? This is where I have to mute uh, groups and stuff on my WhatsApp so that I don't get notifications uh, because they pop up on my uh, on my. My, my screen so just mute them for eight hours you've been muted for eight hours group chats um 
Right, we're underway, folks. Bloody hell, I was just replying to a text, and then, boom, the whistle went. Blow my whistle, bitch. Uh, so we're underway. We're back with Ilya Melier, please. Um... Melier, will will Sunderland presses there? Eh? Will Sunderland presses? How are they going to go about it? They've, Jack Clark's just engaged there on Melier. Goes to Rodon, goes out wide to Archie Gray. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, peeps. And, of course, hit that notification bell. There's Ethan Ampadu back to his goalkeeper, Ilian Melier. Um, turning it up tonight. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Let me know if that's too loud. Bamford comes short. It's a good challenge, though, by the defender, Luke on nine, I believe it was. Um, and it goes back there to the centre-backs. Um, is it Dan Ballard and Luke on nine? Yeah, Pembele. Uh, uh, on the uh, in the wing back position, he's just headed one forward there, um, and it's gone straight through to Ilya Melia. I am just going to get my sofa score up so I can see these Sunderland heads. Man City one 0 up against Real Madrid already. That is a madness. There you go. Southampton one 0 up. For, by the way, folks, maybe that's why um, that's why the comment was made by uh, by my man Paco Mac. Um, Right, okay, let me just, uh, I want to be able to see that different, there we go, sorry, I'm just sorting out my screens, folks, there we go, okay, so it's back with Joe Rodon then now, Joe Rodon goes into midfield, Bamford touch to Rutter, Bamford was brought down, wins a free kick, I think it's Dan Ballard up against him, Dan Ballard, uh, having spoken to a few pals, was having a great season pre-Newcastle, had a bit of a calamity against Newcastle although he was performing well up until the penalty I think and and has been off the boil since then by all on uh, by all accounts so yeah um here is Joe Rodon we need to make sure we're moving in front of in front of the uh, defenders today I want to see just a, a Rodon carrying it into midfield love that from Joe Rodon picks out Somerville Somerville goes there to Junior Firpo who gets past Pembele Pembele does pull him back and it'll be a free kick to Leeds United and um, positive start, positive start. I don't want to get too giddy, though. We know the positive start against Coventry count for shit. I'm just, I'm just nervous right now. I can't lie to you. Here is Somerville. Somerville inside to Furpo. Kamara, I'd like to see that little trio combining well down the left-hand side today. That is for sure. Somerville down the line, Furpo. Challenge across comes... I think it's Luke O9, yeah, Luke O9, uh, sorry, Trey Hume, my bad, uh, makes the challenge and it'll be a throw in. Coming all the way from left back there, uh, across, um, have they set up, mm, maybe they've gone with three centre backs actually outside, of, uh, out, out of possession, I'll have to check that. Um, goes back to Melier, Melier into Ampadu and then we're back again. Possession of the football, though. Possession doesn't win your points, doesn't win your prizes, but it can massively help, which has just reminded me as well. We have football prizes to chat about. Ball over the top. It's a direct ball looking for my man, Pat, but it goes straight on through to the goalkeeper, Patterson. Um, listen, we've got a mad prize fee on football prizes as well today, by the way. I'll show it you in a sec. Um, here's Patterson with the goal kick. Headed in field up towards Jack Clark. A free kick's been given, I think, um, for a foul. So it'll be, yeah, free kick. And it's been taken quick, looking for the run of Joe Bellingham from deep. But that goes straight on through to Ilian Melier. Not the best uh, kick out there by, um, uh, not the best free kick, sorry, should I say. Here is Rodon out wide then to Archie Gray. Hopefully Archie has a barnstormer today. Um as we know, he uh, struggled in the first half at, at Stadium Alight. But we are at home. We are at home. Here is Crescencio Somerville. Somerville goes into Ethan Ampadu. Run from James. Decided against the pass. The pass was on for me. You had James. You had Bamford. There was a few making runs there. Um, need a little bit more bravery in that respect, I think. I know Ampadu's done it a few times. But it's, it's a part of our game that's dropped for a while, I think. Um, there's Ampadu. Ball chipped up, looking for Rutter, who actually wins the header, but Ballard's come away with it. Rutter's still got it, but he's fouled Ballard 
in the process and it will be a free kick now let me just show you the prize that football prizes do have on offer for us this week it's a wild one football prizes have hired a private jet you can win the ultimate euro 2024 match day experience okay four two including flights on the football prizes private jet and there are 20 tickets to be won you know it's a bit like when ant and deck do that you know, flight, don't they, on Saturday night takeaway. Well, you're going to have a football prizes private jet where 20 people, so 20 winners, so in total you're looking at 40 people, you and one other. We could all end up winning prizes for as little as £1.95 as well. And included in that package, folks, you get tickets for the jet, tickets for accommodation in Cologne, tickets for England versus Slovenia. You know what I mean? Private jet, England versus Slovenia and back again in the Euros. That is some prize. Make sure you check it out. Football prizes. Link is in the description. Um, back to the game though. Five minutes in. Junior Firpo takes a throw. In his own half. Gives it to Ethan Amperdu. Do, do. Plays in yellow, white and blue. Amperdu. Do, do. Anyway, here's Melier to Joe Rodon. Leeds United a lot of possession, which is, is good. Control of the game. But we want to see some chances being carved out sooner or later. Yeah, definitely looks like Trey Hume is playing potentially right of a free. And he's got his eyes on Somerville at all times. Ballard wins the ball up against Bamford. There's Somerville touching to Gruyev. Yeah, you can sort of, if you look at Trey Hume, he looks to be doing maybe um, a bit of a job on, on Somerville. Just, just tracking his, his run, if you like. Kamara. Dropping to get it off a road on, so he's in the three. Um, it does look like we're seeing a lot more rotations. Oh, Somerville's got away. He's got away from Equa there. Here's Somerville. Can he attack the space? He's give it to Furpo. Look at the cross. Look at the cross. Deflection. Deflection. Uh, off Trey Hume, and it will be a corner ball. But we are seeing a lot more rotations. We do look a little bit more assured. Little triangles being played. So, Somerville did great there to get away from Equa. And then, as we know, Firpo's always there, available. He's He's been really, really good. Really, really good as Somerville. Um, yeah, no one ball there. It's, uh, it's going to be a corner ball for Leeds United. This is one area where we're shit, but Somerville crosses it. Headed out easy by Joe Bellingham, but not the best clearance. And Dan James has a strike. Takes a deflection and bounce, bounces out to Kamara. Sunderland yet to really get possession of the football, let alone create anything. So here's Dan James. Dan James, little one-two, looking for Rutter. Rutter gives it back, though, to Furpo. Furpo's look for James. It's a block by Joe Bellingham, but it's another corner. The screw is being turned. Leeds United look good. More of the same, please, Leeds United. Come on. We said this, though, against Coventry. We need a goal, don't we? The goal, a goal will calm the nerves. Gruyev, cross. Ballard heads it as far as Somerville. Brings it down. Goes across to Kamara. Kamara then gives it James. He's got Gruyev on the outside, but he'll prop a cross in. Headed by Joe Bellingham. And Gruyev will let it go for a throw. It's all Leeds United currently. Don't forget to smash those likes up for me, folks. Massively helps the channel, as you know. We are rolling towards 30k, so hit the subscribe button if you're new. And please do give the like button a good old tickle. Uh, here is Archie Gray. Archie Gray's in the box, tries to give it to James. Should he have gone for a cross? I would argue yes. He tried to be too cute, though. And Luco 9 just goes, have it! And it goes all the way up to Ilian Melier. Yeah. The, when it's like this, right... Like, watching from home, you're more relaxed. Those that are in the ground, I get it. They'll be frustrated. The atmosphere won't be great because it's like, come on, create something, do something. Do you know what I mean? But we are in complete control currently. There's the ball into Bamford. Touch there into Somerville was nice. Somerville carries the ball now. Oh, Somerville's pass to Furpo was a stinker. That was a stinker by uh, Somerville. I expect, I expect much better from him. I don't know if he's having a word with Furpo, but I think um, that was all Somerville, I think, unless I missed uh, the touch from uh, the touch. But Anyway, Trey Hume is going to take the throw in. Um, just looking at the scores on the doors, Norwich 2-0 up, Southampton 1-0 up. That's that, folks. So just check that Champions League. 1-0 um, Arsenal, 1-0 City. Wow, didn't it? I thought Arsenal would get beat, you know. I did. Anyway, Niall Huggins going to take this free kick. 
He's been everywhere, Niall. Uh, not Niall Huggins, sorry, Trey Hume. He's been everywhere. Left back, centre back, right back. I think he's a player Leeds United should sign in the summer, by the way. Trey Hume. Up towards Job. Job leaves it for Clark, but Gray deals with it. Now Gray's getting in the way of Melia. Melia did need to release it to Gray if he could. Ampadu goes back to Melia. Melia to Rode on. Leeds United just passing it around at the back currently. But what we're seeing as well, I don't know if you've noticed, I think Rodon seems a little bit more adventurous and willing to carry the ball. It almost feels like they've, they have had a rocket up them a little bit. Bamford there battling with Ballard. It's cleared though by Luco 9. But again, this is Route 1. This is have it football from Sunderland. Very direct. Struggling to get out when they have an opportunity to get on the ball. They're just hoofing it. They're just hoofing it. So just invite pressure. Just invite pressure. And what's the best way to tire out an opponent is to keep possession in the football, you know? Uh, Road on into James. James passes poor. Passes poor. Um, here is 09. 09 into Equa. Equa manages to find the midfielder and it goes out to Jack Clark. First real touch for Jack Clark. Um, I think it went to Neil. Equa spraying it out to the right hand side now. And here is uh, Pembele for Sunderland. He then goes back to Trey Hume. Challenge. Challenge Rodon and Gruyev. Taking it quick, and Bamford's done Ballard and drawn the foul, and he's done really well there, Pat. Well done, son. Yeah, Bamford had done him there, schooled Ballard. It's good feet, look. And uh, yeah, it's a definite foul. Here's Somerville. Heavy touch. But now Rodon's got it. Rodon's got it at the back. And again, parting of the sea sometimes in midfield from Sunderland. It just enables him to enter that space. Oh, Bamford's hobbling, folks. I can hear the chat buzzing. <laughs> Bamford looks like he's hobbling. There's the ball from Jack Clark looking for Joe Bellingham. Sorry, it was Styles looking for Bellingham. But um, poor and uh, it goes all the way back to Melier from Rodon. Possession stats massively in Leeds United's favour currently. Massively so. Um, here's Rodon. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Ampadu into Somerville. Somerville gets away from Trey Hume. Get it switched out to Gray. Get it switched out to Gray. Somerville says, I'm sorry, but I think he'd said to him, Make the run next time. Make the run. Um, ah, Furpo's pass is poor, but Bamford's got there. Ahead of Dan Neal. Here's Styles trying to bring it down. And uh, Dan James is battling with him. Goes into Equa. Here's Rig. So here's Chris Rig. He's got Pembele to the right of him. Pembele, first real dangerous attack. And Jack Clark got on the end of the header, but it's way over. Um, not a bad ball, to be fair. And first real dangerous attack for Sunderland, I may add. Uh, don't forget, folks, smash a like on the video for me, please, if you haven't already. Uh, and um, please do subscribe as well as we're on that road to 30k. Here's Archie Gray. Archie Gray tries to beat his man, which he has. He's got round styles, then comes inside. The pass to Dan James wasn't the best, and Sunderland have managed to come away with it. But Gruyev there on the cover does really, really well and uh, sends it back to Melier. Furpo's come for the ball, but he goes into midfield for Gruyev, and Gruyev will now give it out to Furpo. Sunderland really have not got anywhere near us up to this point. Furpo, um, sorry, Somerville, the pass was into, but it's a good challenge. And however, now Bamford's got the ball, good pressing from Kamara. Here's Pat. Pat with a lovely ball. It looked like it was a lovely ball, but Patterson came out to meet it. Right idea from Pat. Um... Kamara's done really well on Joe Bellingham there. <sighs> Maybe the pass could have been better on reflection. Um, it was well tracked, to be honest, from Hume. Furpo wins the header up to Somerville. Somerville allowed to bring it down, and when he's tried to pass it there into uh, into Rig, uh, when he's tried to pass it, sorry, into midfield, Rig's collected it, but Archie Gray battling here with Jack Clark. 
Yes, love that. Love that. Archie Gray's just took it round him. See you later. Boyd him off. Boyd him off. <laughs> Sorry. Gray. Boyd him off. That's a challenge. That's a foul, is it not? Well, he's not given a foul. Seemed a bit rash there from me, but... <clears throat> Archie Gray did really well against Jack Clark there, because it ain't going to be easy. Here's a ball into the box, though. Joe Bellingham brings it down. Ampadu has a chance to come away with the ball. Ethan Ampadu sprays one out to Pat. Poor touch from Pat. Fuck off. Please. All together now, please, Pat. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Right, come on, Luke 9 15 minutes, leads are comfortable. Comfortable, as they would say in France. Goes back to Patterson. Patterson, not looking the most convincing. It's now with Dan Ballard. Ballard, no real option for him. And Firpo there will get ahead of Equa. There's Kamara, touch back to Gruyev. Gruyev almost playing at centre-back there as Ampadu went into midfield. Ampadu's now got the football, and it goes to Firpo. Firpo's looked good as well, just saying, in these early exchanges. and Hits one off of Pembele, and uh, takes the throw then. And he's trying to communicate with Kamara, saying, come to the ball, man, I've got no option. But how are you feeling, folks? Tell me the temperature in the chat. I think, you know, they, they, we look better. We look better. Um, maybe that's just being at home and stuff, but we do look, we do look better, more assured, more comfortable. In control. I do wish we'd funnel it out to the right more with pace, though. Because you've got a player in Dan James there that if you put a ball in behind, he's, he's away. There we go, look. There's Gray. He wants it off you. He's had to go into road on there. There's Dan James, look. Dan James here now. Across comes Styles. He has to go back. Now let's get it out to the left. Go on, hit one. You can pass, man. There we go. Rutter's won it. In between the lines. First real chance for Rutter to run. You've got Bamford. Bamford's in there. Rutter's... He's gone down and it's not a foul. It's not a foul for me. He's gone down and he should release the ball. But I think Rutter's blinded by the lights. Rutter's trying to shoot there. He should have passed it. He should have released the ball. It almost feels like to me he'd been allowed to run right into the boxes thinking, I'm hitting this. And then he got crowded out and he thrown himself to the floor. But Gruyev, nice little pass around the corner into Rutter. Rutter's beaten his man. Oh, and has a shot. And this time, this time it's close. That is very, very good for Rutter. <laughs> That's like his best shot ever and he scored goals. Uh, Rutter with the strike. Didn't have time to think about it. And it's, it's not too far away from the goal, actually, Rutter. Beat, uh, beat is, I think, Neil in there. Did it take a deflection? Potentially. Um, this is the chance where he's carried it into the box. Look, he, he's, he, yeah, he's going to hit it there, but it's no penalty. It's no penalty. If anything, it's a good challenge by Equa. Uh, Leeds and now got it at the back. I don't know how it got from there to there, but Sunderland giving up possession a little bit too easy. Um, and uh, and Leeds United will be, you know, have the ball now for around about five minutes again. Not the best pass from Roden into James, but James gets there, now gives it to Gray. Cross comes Styles, but Gray goes back to Rodon, and there's Gr Gruyev. So Gruyev in the centre of um, a back three currently, uh, when in the build up, Firpo back to Ampadu. Now Kamara's dropped in the centre, but it's gone back to Melier. Leads again, as I say, just in control right now of the football. If you haven't already, folks, don't forget to smash the likes. We're 33 likes away. Um, 33 likes away from 2k, um, sorry, from 1,000. So if you could smash a like on the video, that would be great for me, please. Goes out to Clark, cross comes Rodon. He's had to go back, and I tell you what, the pass isn't great, and Bamford's got it in the corner here. It's a good challenge by Styles, but it will be a corner ball. Bamford being a nuisance, causing an error, corner ball. Let's do this, Leeds United. Don't forget to smash those likes, and don't forget we're rolling towards 30k, so please, please subscribe if you're new. Um, even if you're not new and you're watching and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Because about 40% of you aren't, I don't think. 20, 20 people away from 2K, which is great. Though a corner ball to come in, it'll be Gruyev from this side, I'd imagine. I'd like us to score from a corner when, when Strauch's not on the pitch because we only ever seem to score when he's on the pitch. Styles battling with Bamford. Styles has the, uh, Bamford has the height advantage on him. Gruyev's taking it short onto the edge. I mean, we've wasted that. We've wasted it already. Gruyere popped in. Patterson punches it out. Waste. 
It was a waste. You could tell as soon as it was fucking taken. What are we doing here? Just get it in the mixer. But then again, we shit when we're in the mixer. Should we just give it back to the keeper, I think, on corners? Just say, take a goal kick, mate. <laughs> yeah, have it back. We don't need it. Just take a goal kick. <laughs> Somerville, back to Ampadu. Get it out to the right. Look now. Look at the space. Daniel is in. Look. Gray's even got his hands out. I just wish we'd use the right hand side more. Sorry, for Porter Kamara. Ampadu's let it run and he'll go back to Melia. Do you know Gruyev that first game when he played in the six and we were like, oh my days. He was spraying it left and right. That's what we need. Good pass though, that. Into Bamford. Oh, that's a yellow card. Definite. Ballard's just basically kicked Bamford. No need. It's a yellow card. He's nowhere near the ball. Well done. What's he done that for, the absolute clown? Three times. But but there, the ball had gone. I don't know why he's just smashed Bamford. Have a look at this. The ball's gone. Good touch from Pat. Gives it back. And then he just smashes into the back of him. That's all good now, mate. Because now you're on a yellow for the rest of the game. What is that? That'll suit us, though. That'll suit us. Have that. That means he's struggling. He's having a tough afternoon with Pat. That's what that is. Frustration. He's going, right, I'm going to give you one here, but don't worry. Here's Dan James on the right-hand side. Twisting, turning round, Styles, Rutter. Rutter's done exceptionally well there. Rutter looking for Somerville. Bamford into Somerville. Somerville's onside. He was onside, ref. I knew they were going to blow up for an offside. He was onside there, you know. 100% he was. He was onside. I'm telling you. But all the hands went up and then the, 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 the line all went up. He was onside. Hmm. Not a bad ball out to Styles. And this could look like an opening for Sunderland. Here's Clark. Clark's had to go back, but he has found Neil. Rutter battling with Neil. Neil gives it back to Clark. Clark's turned grey there like he were even there. Done him there. 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one between Clark and Grey. Because he turned grey like he were even there. Here is Archie Grey. Dan James wants it in behind. And Gray's put him in as well, and James could get there, but it's, yeah. Not the best ball. The wind took it away from Dan, and it ended up hitting his shoulder and going out of play. He was always going to struggle, because I, I think he had Luke 9 and Callum Styles both tracking him, so. Callum Styles isn't that a DJ? No, that's Darren Styles, isn't it? <laughs> as I said, Callum Styles, I was like, I've heard that before. It's Darren Styles, isn't it? <laughs> Chavo. <laughs> Don't forget to smash a like on the video anyway, folks. We're on that way to 30k. Here's the throw. Joe Bellingham's done well and he's... Shit ball. Shit ball. Terrible ball. It's gone straight out for a goal kick. We'll take that every day of the week. If you haven't already, folks, smash a like on the video for me. Um, here is Ethan Ampadu. Ampadu to Junior Furpo. Make sure you check out football prizes, folks. Let's get that private jet and let's go see England beat Slovenia in the Euros. I've already got a couple of tickets, so hopefully we'll we'll be there together. Imagine that for a jolly up on private jet and that. <laughs> um, here is Joe Rodon. Rodon into Somerville. Somerville, touch away from Hume. Nice. Oh, it's a good challenge, that. It's a good challenge by Neil, but Somerville still managed to get it. Gets back up on his feet. It's cleared by... Bellingham, yeah, he's played advantage for the earlier free kick. He's played advantage for the earlier free kick. I think they're adjusted S Somerville to have fouled. Uh... Oh, nice. Give it against Gruyev. I don't know what that's about. Here's Neil anyway for Sunderland. Goes out to Jack Clark. Jack Clark. Dan James wins the ball. Does well. Clark wants a free kick. Love that from Rutter. Little dink pass into James. James. Terrible pass by James. There's Ballard. He's just ran into trouble. I don't know why he's asking for a free kick and he's negated the space. This is this is a chance for Leeds. Somerville on the edge beats one, then gets challenged. Tried too much. 
Here's Joe Bellingham. It's end to end. I don't like this, folks. It's basketball. Joe Bellingham outside of the foot, offside. Jack Clark had ran into an offside position. Yeah, Dan Ballard tried to carry the ball out, gets it one off him, gets played into Rutter. Rutter gives it to Somerville, and Somerville's touch, not the best. But here's that offside look against Jack Clark. Oh, he's onside, you know. He's onside. Ampadu just a little bit lackadaisical. It looked to me like Jack Clark had ran the line really well there. Um, he was onside, I think. Anyway, 25 minutes, no chances really of any note for either side, but Leeds have been in control. Uh, Road on into Ampadu, run from Somerville. He's left it too late. The flag's going to go up, I think. No, Somerville's uh, referees kept his flag down. I thought he was off then. Um, here's Ampadu. Ampadu into Pat. Hospital pass from Ethan Ampadu. No chance of him getting that. Kamara turns, gives it back to Ampadu, and then it's square into Rodon. Sunderland camped in here. It's like a 4 1 4 1, isn't it? Um, it here's Furpo. Furpo into Bamford. Touch away from Ballard. Then into Somerville. Somerville over the top for Rutter. Goes back to Luco 9. Furpo's not stopped running after it, though. And Luco 9's clearance not the most convincing. Jack Clark, terrible touch with Jim, with uh, Gray on his back. And here's Gruyev. Gruyev into Kamara. Nice football from Leeds. This, come on then, let's create something now. Road on square into Ampadu. Should have gone forward. This is what I mean. We've slowed it right down. It's good football, that. And then Road on for me. I had to continue with that verticality. And instead, he's gone into Ampadu sideways. Here's Bamford getting away from Ballard. Touching to Furpo. Forward, folks. Incision. Somerville up against Pembele. Into Furpo. Furpo somehow come away with the ball and some of us then give it back to Ampadu and Leeds will recycle and go again. Kamara touch away from Equa. He's done well there, but where's the pass for him? Where's the pass for him, Leeds? Road on. Look, even Kamara, arm open. Where were you? Here's Ampadu. Almost playing at left back there into Somerville. There we go, Furpo. Somerville, can he get there ahead of Pembele? He can't, but Pembele knew that Somerville was coming, so it's gone out for a corner. I just wish we could do something with corners. We get that many. We get that many people, you know? <sighs> God. Don't forget to smash the likes up, folks. Corner incoming. Just give it back to the keeper. <laughs> Just give it back to the keeper, man. Anyway, in it comes. Somerville. Headed by Bamford, but it's gone the other way, and it'll be cleared by Rig, I think, or Neil. And Archie Gray's got it on halfway. And Leeds United will come again. Oh, shit, at set pieces, man. At corners, aren't we? When was the last time we were actually good at corners? Like, I can't... I genuinely can't remember, because we were always terrible... Um, Good football leads, good football leads. Bamford into Somerville, then to Furpo. Somerville's got the ball. That's a free kick on the edge, is it not? Referee said no, but Furpo's recycled it and give it to Kamara. Ampadu doesn't really have any options, uh, and it's gone to Rodon. Rodon will turn and try to come back the other way. It's gone back to Ampadu, and Kamara then touch back to Rodon. 30 minutes, still no big chances created. Here's Furpo. Oh, Kamara slipped and somehow come away with the ball. He got so lucky there. Kamara hit it, son. Rutter, give it James. Give it James. Why have you turned back inside? Give it to James, the man in space. No, I'm going to turn back into a group of players. Sometimes it is so frustrating. The ball was on to James. He could then maybe cross it, run at the fullback. Listen, I love Rutter, but sometimes, like, come on. Bamford wins the ball against Ballard and hooks it forward. Trey Hume back to his keeper, Patterson, and he puts his foot through it. It's route one football from Sunderland, and uh, Rodon heads it forward. Bamford wins the ball in the air, but then falls over in the process. Here's Chris Rigg. Rigg turns. Passing to Job. His pass is poor, though, and Ampadu will give it to Kamara. Now, move it quick. Move it quick, man! You know there was space out wide there. Loads of space out wide. And we've just gone too slow again. What happened to the Leeds United say that against Huddersfield that scored a goal within 20 seconds? 
it's like we're prioritizing the f the the controlling the game over actually creating chances. It's all good and well having control of the game, but if you're nil nil, what's the fucking point? Do you see what I'm saying? There's an opportunity to get it moved quick, then move it quick. This is better. Here's Somerville. Somerville up against Trey Hume on the edge of the Lee, uh, Sunderland box. And Somerville's had to go backwards into Furpo. 15 minutes to half time. Move that out to the right, then Gray's free. Somerville's got away from Trey Hume. Trey Hume committed. Somerville, have that go! Oh, he's taken a deflection and it will be a corner. Comes off a of Dan Ballard. It's his knee, I think. Somerville again. Trey Hume committed. Wrong to do so. Gets inside. Has a strike. And luckily, luckily, because Bamford was going to get a touch on it. And I think Ballard actually takes it away from Bamford. And it'll be a corner ball. In comes the corner from Gruev. Far too close to the keeper. He punches it out. Somerville can't get it under his control, though. And uh, Luke O'Nine 9 will go out to meet him. But, Yeah. First real effort, would you say? First real effort, potentially. Don't forget to smash the likes, folks. If you haven't already, massively helps the channel. I almost feel I'm a little bit too close on this camera here. Um, there's chance some of the challenge, but Furpo comes back and wins the ball for Leeds. And Ampadu has it again, as we've heard so many times tonight. No movement for Furpo. Equa makes the... Pembele, sorry, makes the challenge and it'll be a throw-in. To Leeds United. Here's that Somerville chance look. And he's looking to bend it in. And oh, uses his elbow, doesn't he, really? It's handball, isn't it? He's gone like that. Bamford did the same for his goal against Rotherham, surely. And there you go. Oh, Rutter. Oh, he's offside, man. He's offside. He's offside. He missed as well. It's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please, man. <sighs> Luco nine into Ballard. Ballard back to 0-9. Kamara um, on the right-hand side, sort of engineering the press. It's a good ball up there to Neil. Neil's played a pass there into Rig. Rig's had a strike. It's a poor strike by Rig, and it'll be be a goal kick. I think Neil's give it him. Kamara's come across. Kamara was bloody doing the pressing in the right wing position, wasn't he? Um, good, out of it, good touch out of his feet, but the strike's poor and it was always rising from Rig. But that's a shot. It's an effort for Sunderland. I don't know what the shot stats are for both sides, but it will be poor. Um, but le leads Dwarf in the possession. But here's Rodon not really doing anything with it. James, heavy touch, tries to give it to Gray. Gray's now out of position because Clark's got it. He's got Bellingham on the left-hand side. Jack Clark gives it to Bellingham. Switch on leads, please. There's Styles. There's the run from Bellingham. Gruyev's tracked him, though. No foul leads. Goes back to Clark. Clark then to Neil and Styles. His first real um, length of possession, this, and... Oh, Clark's got away from Rodon like he's not even there. Melier thankfully comes out and makes the challenge. Rodon shouting at someone, but Clark beat him far too easy there. If you have a look here, Rodon's had to go over. And I think it's because Gray's not there, maybe, or Gruev or whoever, but he's absolutely done Rodon. And, you know, Rodon will be fuming with whoever. It's probably Gray. It's probably Gray that should be in that position. And he said to him, like, where the feck are you, mate? Uh, anyway, here comes the uh, corner. It's not the best delivery, and Rodon heads it out. Gray just flicks it forward and will chase it. But oh, not the best pass back to Trey Hume, but um, no leads player within within any distance of note. Here's Equa 
run from Bellingham, but it goes into Neil. Neil has Pembele hugging the touchline for Sunderland. Back to Neil. Bellingham's tried to drop, but he's had to go all the way back to Trey Hume, who's then give it to Ballard. So now we're seeing Sunderland have a little bit of possession of the football. Drop deep from Clark to, to come and get involved in the play. Trey Hume, poor pass. Furpole can't get there, though. Neither can Chris Rigg. However, he's won it off Somerville, and it goes back to Hume. Hume to Ballard. I, what's Ballard doing here? Ba ba Ballard's blocked Paddy's run and then, like, give him a knock on the head. Like, he needs to watch it. He's trying to roughhouse Bamford up. I can't lie to you. Oh, he'll give a free kick there, ref, when he's actually gone for the football. But what's what's he doing? Like, Bamford's running for a football and he's just ran in front of him. He can't do that. Like, what are you doing? Look at this. He's nowhere near him. He's just watching Pat. Like, that's a yellow, you know. That is a yellow. That's a yellow. He's looking at him. He's gone, yeah, yeah, I'm just putting you on the deck here, mate. <laughs> Six one, half a dozen of the other, but you can't do that. Do you know what I mean? You cannot do that, can you? It's mad. Very soft for him to get a second yellow there, but but even still, like, what are you doing? You, like, if he makes a rash challenge, he's going to go. He'll get a second yellow. Free kick anyway for a foul on uh, by Rutter, uh, and it's the goalkeeper Patterson sent it. Lon Echo wins it in the middle, but then Gruyev comes out and wins it. Dan James had set off, but has managed to come out. Oh, he's passed it. Dan's not the same fucking player either, is he? Gruev. Oh, Gruev's then lost it to Neil. And here's Joe Bellingham, Clark. I worry that that dominance of possession, we've not created anything at all with it. So it wouldn't surprise me if these fuckers nick one before half time. We've seen the story before, let's be real, you know. Equa to 09, 09, over halfway. Turn. From Rig, Rig out to Pembele. Furpo goes to engage. Watch Rig's run, Somerville. Pembele continues going it's to Bellingham. Good challenge by Rodon. Dan James does the same, but Clark's got it now on the edge. Do not let him cut in on the right. They did, but the shot is an easy save for Melier. Yeah, don't let him cut in there. It's good feet from Clark. It's a decent effort, but it's an easy save in the end. Don't forget to smash the likes up for me, folks. On the road to 30k as well. Melier out wide. Archie Gray has played a nice pass into James. James, first time. Bamford's got well underneath it and Trey Hume clears it. Clark, nice little pass that. Lovely little pass from Jack Clark into Neil. Neil, though. The pass into Bellingham wasn't the best, but he's still got it, and it goes out here to Pembele. There's an opportunity here for Sunderland. Riggs in acres of space down the right-hand side. Pembele's running into traffic. Probably should have released it sooner. Um, gives it to Rig. Riggs tried to cross. Yeah, Melier easy. Right, where's... Come on. No one there. You can hear the Leeds fans wanting him to move it quick, but there was no one there for him to move it fucking quick too. Everyone was behind him. Melia. Rode on into Bamford. Bamford to Somerville. Somerville now has a chance to run. He's give it to Pat. Pat. Decent feet, gives it back to Furpo. Get back in the box now, Pat. Here's Ampere, back to Junior. Junior's lost the ball. Rig will come away with it, but his touch is poor, and that's a throw into Leeds. Furpo just using his, uh, his physicality over the youngster Rig there. Gruev, Rodon to Ampadu. And Furpo's dropped on halfway to collect the ball as well off Ampadu. Is no one going to get James in the picture there, maybe, on the right-hand side? Nah. 
<laughs> Rodon, there's space for Gray maybe now. Nah. Kamara back to Rodon. Coming up to the 40th minute, folks. Ampadu to Rodon. No chances. There's the pass to Gray, surely. For fuck's sake. The pass was on. The pass wasn't executed by Rodon, though. It's a shocking pass, and Sunderland have now got possession of the football. Here's Jack Clark running at James. Don't dive in, Gray. Well done. Both sent him backwards. James has had a little nudge on him. Joe Bellingham's got the ball. Showed too much of it to Ampadu, though, and Ampadu now goes route one. Bamford gets up with Ballard. Ballard wins the header. Goes out wide to Pembele. Rig to the right. Goes back to Hume, though. Here's Ballard. Sunderland will be happy with this, you know. They've been getting battered of late, you know. I know they got a point last time out, but they'll they'll be cool with this, you know. Switch a play from Patterson, the goalkeeper. Head of one by Firpo, though, and Trey Hume's chasing back towards his own goal. He's give it away. Chance. Rutter's pass is just not great. The one moment I want Rutter to actually get on the ball and not release it, he did. He doesn't. Do you know what I mean? He's won a free kick, though. You're thinking there with Rutter, just keep possession there, run at them, but he's tried to move it on quick to James, and it, it's, a, it's a shocking pass. Decision-making not, not great from, um, from, our man, uh, from our man Rutter of late. Free kick, though, Gru, you have to take. Where's me water? James, James, he's taking a deflection, it'll be a corner ball. Do I dare check the scores on the doors? Are oh, Leicester winning? Wouldn't surprise me. Leicester nil nil. Leicester nil nil. Real Madrid beating City, Bayern beating Arsenal 2-1. Wow, there you go. There you go. Anyway, corner ball. Corner ball, folks. In it comes... Headed out. Headed out from Trey Hume, I think, throw into Leeds United. As expected, headed out. <laughs> Just buy someone who can take set pieces in the summer. Anybody. <laughs> Firpo. Into Ampadu. A goal before half time would be sweet. Can't see it though. Not with not with uh, the lack of creativity uh, in this uh, in this first half. I cannot see it. If it doesn't... <laughs> There's Road on to Ampadu. Ampadu to Somerville. Somerville back to Ampadu. Better. Ampadu's pass is terrible, though. Bamford's run. He's giving it away as Ballard. Pressing from Bamford there has caused that error. Here's Somerville. Somerville. Bamford wants. Bamford's got. Oh, he's hit it with his right foot and sliced it way wide. He's not right footed, that's for sure. It's a slicer. He's created that chance, though, hasn't he, with the pressing on Ballard. Yes, I mean, not the best, not the best or cleanest of strikes. Goal kick, Patterson to take seventy-two percent possession for Leeds United, but we've not created. We've not created. Clark wins the ball in the air. Bellingham gives it back to, to Styles and he has rode on, looking to go over the top. Luko nine in the back of Rutter, but Gruyev's played a pass, and I tell you what, James is going to get there. That's some pass from Gruyev. James, James Cross. Ooh, Ballard gets it, stopping it, going, landing on Bamford's foot, and it'll be a throw in. Um, this is where we could do a Roberts with a long throw. But then again, we won't win the ball in the air, actually, so maybe it won't be worth it. <laughs> Gray's going to take the throw. We're on the 45th minute. Gray throw. Yes, get it in the mix. Well, I, see, I keep saying get it in the mixer from them positions, but it's pointless, isn't it? Here's Ampadu carrying it up. Ampadu's tried to give it to James, and we've lost the ball, and, and now we're under it a little bit. But Ampadu, of course, comes back on the cover. And somehow, somehow after slipping over, has managed to ensure that a Sunderland player doesn't get the ball. Fell over on it. 
slipped and then managed to hook it out for a throw-in. 45th minute, I wouldn't expect much stoppage time, one or two minutes, if that. Yeah, let's pick the bones out of this. Be interested to get your thoughts in the chat. Like I say, we've had possession of the football. We haven't looked troubled, but then again, we haven't troubled Sunderland. 72% possession, but not done anything with it. Here's Jack Clark. One minute, yeah, uh, one minute. The nerves are jingle jangling, in it? That's where it's at. Sun, uh, Leicester also drawing. Any misstep could could curtail the season, you know? It's, it's that kind. Kamara's done well to win it. Somerville has a chance here to run. Somerville has passed it to Pat. Pat! He's getting round his keeper. Oh, no. The cross. Dan James was not the man to cross that too. Pat did ever so well. Should it have been on the ground, potentially... But the cross was not good and Dan James isn't the man to come rushing in at the back post, heading it in the back of the net, right, fair. Get it in, lads. We've got fucking eight seconds. Bamford did well. Takes it away from the keeper, but the pass, need to see it back. But could it have been on the ground? I'm not too sure. Gruyev, Gruyev gets it taken off him and it'll be a free kick to Sun... Oh, it's half time. It's half time, folks. Let's see what people are saying. Bamford did really well to get round Ballard and the keeper. But then what? Then what? The cross wasn't great. Um, right, OK. Let's see what the chat is saying. And let's see what my man Andrea is saying. Um, right, OK. Come on then. Talk to me, mate. Talk to me. What do you what do you make to that half? We haven't created anything, have we? There's just a word to describe it. Pattern. It's exactly the same first half against Watford, Al City, and Coventry. Same, absolutely yeah. same. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between the four these four games. If you look at the game, it's just, uh, you know you ask my opinion about about you know how I I thought the game would have looked like. You know, I think the game is looking exactly like that. You know, they've played Bellingham, man marking Gruyev and Ekva on mm. Kamara. We they are barely involved in the game. The only way we get fo we get forward is some of it going back to get the ball mm. and then turning around sometimes. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. the only solution is the long ball into the space, try to get the running behind from James or Somerville. Rutter came back just one time to get the ball, turned around. But apart from that, he didn't uh, do that again. He's looking not physically 100%. So I think he's struggling also in terms of fitness. I said it, you know, I think he's going under a difficult period of form, mm. especially after having surgery, you know. You don't train yeah. for a few days. Um, and, uh, you know, it's difficult. It's it, That was a really difficult for us to watch, honestly. I think that mm. Sunderland are playing their, their game well. They're executing their game plan well. Um, the, the, the solution is trying to get the ball forward by having more more, more movement because the players look disjointed mm -hmm. also the midfield is non-existent again i'm yeah. sorry to say it again um we've also, dominated though bro we've dominated haven't we but but in terms of ball like, possession yeah yeah ball possession but but like you said like in terms of actually goal scoring a actions i think sunderland probably have had the same as us do you know what i mean i think th i think they're Occasions were better than I was, honestly, to be fair, mate. Yeah, because yeah, there's the one the, at the end there where Bamford takes it round him, but I mean, the pass is not great, is it, mate? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Also, the occasion where Somerville's shot got deflected, you know. Yeah, probably it's handball too from Ballard yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Probably a penalty, but you know, we're in a league without VAR, so nothing yeah. to complain about if there's no VAR and the referee doesn't get that right, you know. No. Um, they have more intensity than us. Of course, they have less ball possession, but I think they have more intensity. It's it's clear to them what they need to do, getting forward. Also, I don't like, honestly, Kamara falling in Aqua up to his area, you know, to Sunderland own area because he leaves the gas in behind. And when they had the shot with Rick, it's because of that. There's no need. It's, it's not dangerous. Aqua. Aqua yeah, going yeah, back yeah. to his own, his, his own half. Uh, near the centre backs to get the ball to start the attack. Why do you follow him up there? You know, because they get the ball to the wing. Now then, Clark, there was the gap in the middle. 
that's why that's why they had the shot with Rick there. Mm. You know, there, there's a lot of pattern is one word and the other word is confusion cause of course we are not finding solution. It's like the starter decision again in a certain way, you know. Um because against it's it's not the low block now. At the starter decision it was the low block. Now it's an organized game plan uh executed to block completely our midfield duo. Yeah. And they're doing that exactly because Kamara and Griff probably they had touches to the ball, of course, but look at the way they were and look how effective those touches were, you know. They didn't have an effect on, on the build-up. That yeah. that's that's the main struggle again. Unfortunately, we we're not going out on this tunnel, looks like so far. Yeah, um, I've had, I just want to get, get some. So, Callum uh, Ashton held with the super chat. Thank you, mate. Uh, Barney said, "Joe, I'm trying really hard to be a positive human, but this is uninspired, boring, and zero tactics outside of give it to Cree. It's a Jesse-like pack midfield. I think the most frustrating thing for me as well, pal, um, is the the lack of wanting to get it out to the right. It's really starting to oh. piss me off now because I True. see them in space and I'm like." Rodon, Ampadu, Gruyev, Kamara, you can pass that ball to the right hand side and we just tend to go, do you know what, I'm Rodon, I'm going to give it to Ampadu. Oh, I'm Kamara, I'm going to pop it back to Ampadu and then we'll get it out down the left. And it's just, it is it is really frustrating. Nonto's left tentacle say, I bet everyone's going to go to that, but I don't, this isn't a problem with Pat. I don't, I don't know. I, is it, bro? I don't think it is. And no, 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 no. We're I don't not think it is. We're not creating anything, so Joseph would have looked the same. But Absolutely, na- na- people go. It's more so. How do we get the ball up there? How do we get the ball to create goal scoring opportunities? I don't think it's as simple as just take Pamford Bamford off. I don't. Exactly. I, I don't. Um, maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I'm no, wrong. No, no, no. But... I agree. I agree with you. I think it's a general problem. You know, it's the way we're playing. It's not the striker is not moving, of course, and. Luckily, we have a number nine. Right, what's Rutter done Paul in that half? Been... What has Rutter done in that half? Nothing, bro. No, lo- lo- lost, lost possession many times. Just one, one, one good action. You know, when he turned around and yep. found space, just, just there once. Then the very bad decision making. But again, I think he's not fully fit, one hundred percent. So, mm. uh, and playing him again, again, again from time to time doesn't help his recovery for me. Mm. Mm. No, exactly. I I, I agree. Um, I don't. I, I I'm not sure if I agree with that, Bab, Baba Salim, because surely he'd have hit it. I think the angle was too tight. Um, yeah. So I think I think. Look, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I, I'll need to see it back, folks. I'm trying my best here not to not to. But I almost feel like when people are saying it, it's like, am I actually that wrong on Bamford? Like, is he? But I don't know what more you expect from in the, in that half, folks. I I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, help me from out. time to time, it sounds like it's Bamford against Sunderland. It's Leeds United against Sunderland. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not just Bamford. James is not getting the ball to. Why nobody's yeah. talking about James? You you James. did, your, of yeah, course. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, why nobody's talking about James? We over overcrowding, overloading on credential cre- side, you know. Yeah, uh, James is going back to get the ball, and is is ineffective because the only way James is effective in, is when you give him space to run in behind. I never yeah. never did so far in this first first half, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't. It's nothing, honestly, I, bro. It's not, man. Listen, if if I thought that that he was the problem in that forty five, I would say get him off. I would say that. He's not. We're not getting out to the right. Rutter's non-existent and not creating absolutely anything. It's literally some of LFC. Like, it's not. It's not. But again, I don't know. Like, it's just... My head feels like it's going to explode with it because I start to then go, is it? Is that as easy as it is? Just change Bamford and all of a sudden we'd have won We'd have won that half and be 2 or 3 nil up. I don't think it's as sim- simple as no. that, people. I don't think it is. The problem is the midfield, lads. The midfield is the problem. The midfield is the art of the team and the midfield is non-existence. Hence why we're not getting the ball forward. Hence why the striker is not getting the ball. Uh, It would have been the same with Joseph, probably. And honestly, if Joseph gets in this game, I would like to see him again in the role of Rotter today. In the team. Honestly. Yeah. 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 Because I I think Bamford is doing 
that job, you know, of trying to defend the ball. Mm -hmm. And we need a tall number nine because they have mm -hmm. Ballard. Ballard is strong. Yeah. They, they have strong centre-backs. And you need a player battling there, trying to get in the aerial battle. You know, Bamford holding the ball. You have Joseph probably behind him. You can play one-two. He can get the run. He can follow through, you know. That, that's what I'm thinking about, you know. Yeah, I think that's what I mean. It's not as linear as just one individual, is it? But we're there. That's where we're at, and I just have to, just have to accept that that's how, how people see the see the see the game now. Um, you know, um, that he's he's at fault. Um, yeah. Look, maybe maybe you know, there's a little part of me wishes he just starts with Joseph so we can see if it works, and then and then people can go, oh, do you know what? Actually, we. We also didn't create anything for Joseph. Maybe it's not just one individual. <laughs> but, um, yeah, listen, I'd like to see change. I, he won't make them at half-time, folks. I don't think he'll make them at um, <laughs> half-time. Um, so, yeah, um, again, like, this is sugary goodness. It's a pure agenda. 61% said they were happy with the lineup. Yo, what, what, what do you change? What do you change, bro? I don't know. Um... I don't think he will, Jordy. Change it at half time, I don't think he will. Uh, Jeremy says Joseph has been spark spark sewer. I don't know the second bit, but spark or sub. Meanwhile, part of struggle, perhaps super, we need to change. Sub, probably. Super yeah. sub, right. Okay, sorry, yeah. Yeah, maybe I agree with you as well, Jeremy. I do. Like I said uh, at the start, this is what I mean. I've also said that that he should I would have advocated a change. I'm not I don't disagree with you there. Like let me just qualify. I also said I'd be up for a change. I said that. But my point is after watching 45 minutes I don't think that what more I I I, I that's where my problem is is where I go is where I go well what what's Pat done wrong there? Um I don't know. Anyway, Let's try and move on from the pat thing. Um Bro, can can we get something? Um can we get something out of this game? It almost feels like like you've mentioned, it's a little bit like Groundhog Day. It looks like it's been set up for an absolute stinker from Sunderland on the counter attack, do you know what I mean? And then <laughs> and then that's it, we're crestfallen and we're done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we can get something, but we need to make changes. Honestly, I think that there's one change that needs to happen at halftime, but I don't think I agree with you. I don't think he'll make it. I think um, for one for one with two tens, um, you mean probably Somerville and Joseph. But where, where does play? Where does James play then? That's the, that's the thing, you know. Yeah. With two tens, Fair. you know. Mm. Lucy no, said the last three games yeah. have just repeated themselves. It's so predictable. Agreed. True. It is. Um, no, St. George says, was... go on, mate. No, no, I'll finish, finish, Joe. No, I was just saying, Rutter being off, I would try non to at 10. He's more direct. Maybe there could be something in that as well. Go on, mate. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say probably the one change I will make at last time, but he won't make it for me too. Uh, I think Graham to midfield, Kamara off and Roberts in. Because I yeah. think Roberts, you know, 45 minutes, unless he's not... Um, he's not um, it's not recovered you know uh, properly so there's no point in bringing him to the bench yeah. um, but I think you know making a cameo too last last week I think he, he needs I, I will move Roberts to right grey in midfield because we need one of those two you know they have Equa and Bellingham yeah. following them everywhere you need but they're, they're started not moving Gruyavan and Kamara you need grey he, he knows how to move you know in the middle so I will move Gray in midfield. Another change I will make, yeah, Nyonto for James. And yeah, I think also later on, not too late, of course, I would like to, to see maybe 10 minutes rotor how he, he does at the start of the second half. Then, as I said, I'm an advocate for Joseph and Bamford together. Bamford up front and Joseph in behind because he can cut inside, you know, and go through on goal, you know. Yeah. And the other option, if you don't want to move Gray from the right back position, keeping him on Clark, the other option then is keeping Kamara on. And then one of one of the two midfielders needs to move for me. Then you yeah. you, you move you keep Kamara on. Then you move Ampadu to midfield and Gruyere off. That's that's the other solution for me. But then you have to play Christ for for me at centre back. 
yeah. right now because they're threatening just on the counter attack. Hmm. So th there's no point about um, not trusting your players, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you just, he, he has trusted young players, you know. He needs to be brave, like he yeah. did with Gray. Of course, Gray is different in gravy, but, you know, you need to be brave sometimes. You need to look at the press about the system, not about the names, not about the, They're playing with a 16 year old tonight. Yeah, He's not really the same as Gray, but they're trusting yeah. him because it, yeah. it, it suits their, their game plan. You see him moving around and he's reading well the game. He was free outside of the box. Outside of the area, he had the shot on goal, you know, from outside. Just kicking, <laughs> Just kicking the net. Yeah, yeah. That's, all we need. that's the solution. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can. Um, let's just have a look. Uh, yeah, I agree, Jamie. Sunderland are not great and all that. I don't think they are anyway. Um, yeah, Dave, I agree. This is what I mean. You're not listening. I agree. I agree. I'm just saying that, like, anyway, you know what I'm saying now. We've been through it. It's pointless. Um, energy and belief, says Jody. Uh, big, big 45 coming up. Yeah, I'm just uh, the, the the other scores on the doors. I think Leicester are drawing, aren't they? It's an opportunity if they drop points. We need to, we need to take them. Southampton beating Coventry. Um, yeah, they need to. We need them to take these opp opportunities. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, mate, and then I can run to the toilet. Um, people, yeah, people are saying Kamara's actually played well, bro. What do you th What do you think to that? People are saying mm, I've seen it a few times honestly, now. I I disagree. I think he he made some some passes in a street place, you know. In, in tight spaces, but apart from that, if you look when he follows Ekfa up front, like Ekfa is doing with him, he leaves gaps, you know, and he, he has the tendency. I saw that also against Sol and Watford, especially. He has the tendency to move near the other, our, our other midfielder, so he leaves a space on the left sometimes. And up, out of the two, you know, sometimes the Italian kicks in, sorry, uh, out of the two. Gruyev and Kamara. The one that needs to move more is Kamara because of his trait, his characteristic, his skill, the way he plays, you know, the game. Gruyev, we know how he plays, you know. I think the one that needs to move and try to progress with the ball is Kamara. In these tight spaces, you know, you need to try to elude the marking of your marker. And both of them are not doing that. It looks like the Lions from... Uh, that Batman's DS scored Mirwall uh, from the chat, yeah. Uh, good result for us, of course. Um, I, I'm very calm. needs to, to focus on our on our scores first and foremost, then we, we can look on the other and the other pitches, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, overall, I think, yeah, Nyonto for James, probably. I will Joseph for Rotter later on. Robertson. I think one of the two midfielders needs to move for me. Uh, then we'll see, of course. Maybe, but I, I don't think he'll put Joseph there. I, I will, I will, but I think if he changes, he'll change Joseph for Bamford and Piro for Rotor. I will, I will take Joseph behind. Millwall has scored one up. Andrea, there start of the second yeah. half. I'll let you go. Millwall are one nil up. Leeds yep. United now. I'll see you in a bit, man. See you at, on the post match, mate. Yeah, sure. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. We have a lifeline. One nil Millwall. Sunderland about to get us underway, folks. Just switching that volume up. Let's go then. Come on, Leeds United. You've got a perfect opportunity here. Arsenal losing to want to buy in Real Madrid as well. Right, we're under the way for the second half, folks. Let me put that second half timer on. Let me get rid of this banner as well. Um, no changes. No changes as of yet. But I didn't really expect anything. And um, But let's see how long we, we have to wait for them. Dan James has done really well. Great. James, good. Challenge there by Luko9, and it's a big, big challenge, and the captain might get a card there, he has, he's just polaxed, he's polaxed Dan James as Luko9, and it's a definite, definite um, free kick, and definite yellow, he's just smashed into him, James and Grey working well there, and oof, yeah, it's a really bad challenge when you see that back, actually, look at this, he's just, I tell you what, it, that's a rugby challenge. <laughs> that's a rugby challenge if ever I've seen one. So that's both centre-backs now on yellows, Luko9 and Dan Ballard. Uh, please do smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out football prizes as well. Um, 
links in the description to that um, for what you can win. Uh, you can win, um, you know, tickets uh, to the private jet, folks. Get yourself on a private jet. Go see England beat Slovenia in the Euros. There's 20 tickets to be won. You and one other. Um, so, yeah, and it's only £1.95, £1.95, so two quid, less than a cup of coffee. And if you win that, you're getting a private jet to go to Cologne in Germany and watch England beat Slovenia. So get amongst it, people. Here's Dan James, headed it. Link's in the description for that. Um, but here is Styles, uh, Darren Styles in the mix and all that jazz. Uh, Jack Clark back to his keeper, Patterson. Listen, we've had a lot of possession, but not created anything at all. Um, so, yeah, not... Not great. Um, that needs to improve. Don't forget, straight after this as well, we've got post-match reaction that we can pick the bones out of. Um, I'm just going to let other people speak on that because I think I might cry at this point. <laughs> like, my fucking head's battered with Leeds United at the minute. I can't lie to you. Like, just... Yeah. It wasn't supposed to be like this, do you know what I mean? We were flying, weren't we? And we're just making it so difficult for ourselves. Ball from deep... Um, looking for the runner Bamford, but it goes straight through to the keeper. But look, Leicester are losing, that's a positive, but um, we need to take an opportunity, man. We need to take the opportunity. Come on, Rodon, wins the header. Come on, Leeds, for fuck's sake, man. Please, man. Oh, Melly is bloody kick. Woo! Loving you. Is in my DNA. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, loving Leeds is in my DNA. God's sake. Styles then with this uh, with this um throw in for Sunderland. We need a goal, man. Nil nil is not enough. Rodon's done well against Joe Bellingham. Can you hear me alright from here, folks? Let me know, because I've turned it up so that you can. Um I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, bum, bum, bum. You can hear me all right. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, watching Joe is like a video of my internal monologue. Yeah. Uh, what, what, Jody? What did all Leeds TV last say? What's been said, Broski? Um... Drive, break, run off each other. I don't know what you mean. Oh, fuck knows. Um, Rutter's lost the ball, um, and it'll be a throw in to Sunderland. Um, loving you is in my DNA. Mm -hmm. Throw to come, Luco 9. Uh, Rodon comes across, puts it out of play, and uh, it'll be a throw in. Be a throw in to, to Leeds United. Uh, to Sunderland, sorry. Throw in to Sunderland. Um... <laughs> I'm fine. Good, 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 good. Right, there's Gray into Rutter. Rutter's touch into Kamara, Equa. Uh, goes out to Clark. Gray's made a good challenge there. Well done, Archer. And then Kamara's just passed it out of play. Mentality, you know, the nerves, man. They're not playing how they were how they were playing for me. Do you know what I mean? They look a little bit. They look scared, man. <laughs> I want to be that American, but they're scared, man. They're scared. <laughs> God, man. If you don't laugh, you'll cry, peeps. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. Here's Joe Bellingham. Dan James chasing him down. Bellingham turns. Bellingham goes into Equa. Equa then to Trey Hume. Leads a penned back here. Here's Pembele. Pembele. Uh, back to Trey Hume. Oh, Bamford nearly gets there, but Patterson clears it. Patterson's route one ball actually he may have got... Rig in here, but what a challenge that is by Ampadu. And uh, he just gets physically bodied there, Rig. That's a part of his game he'll need to improve. Uh, Joe Bellingham comes across, makes the block, but it will be a throw-in 
to Leeds United. Don't forget to smash a like on the video for me, folks. Um, if you could. Um, if you could. Uh, loving you is in my DNA. Don't forget to smash those likes, folks. We've got 1,300 currently. Let's get it up to 1,500. Rutter. Rutter goes into Firpo. There's a hell of a lot of football left to play in this game, folks. Oh, Firpo, great feet. Oh, he's not being given a free kick. I think it was a free kick. I think it was a free kick. Firpo, right to be annoyed at that. But it's a throw-in and Trey Hume will take it. Trey Hume throw. Sent forward by Rutter. Ballard clears it. Rutter. Down the line looking for Clark. Clark will get there. Actually comes off of Clark. Yeah, well done. Gray wins it. Well done. Yeah, Rutter's not being great, peeps. Evil. Throws, I don't know, has the throw even come in? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, man. Sorry. I, just the chat there is, um, like, it's behind, so I don't know, but I'm just laughing at some of your halftime comments. Stop tickling his belly. <laughs> I love that. Go on, Somerville, he gets round his man. Eck was chasing him. Pembele, go on, Somerville. Do penalty! If that's not a penalty, I don't know what it is. Damn. Oh, he's offside. Oh, God. That was a penalty, wasn't it? I don't think the ref had to give it like... It didn't look like he was going to give it because you thought he'd have just... Somerville's done great. How's Dan James ended up in an offside position here, by the way? Just... Right. Marco, pack it in now. Stop it. I'm sick of you doing that. He keeps trying to have his way with him. Stop it. No, I'm not your friend. No. Stop. No, I'm not your friend. That's why I can hear him keep trying to bite you, man. Stop it. No. You're like, what's what's um, what's the what's the South Park episode? What is it? The gay dog. <laughs> I've forgotten now. Honestly, I know he does it. I don't know why he started doing it all over again, though, man. It's. Sorry. Just popped in at the. Door and he's like that on his back. <laughs> Trying to get some action. Which is more than what we're seeing on here, isn't it? If we're being totally honest. Dan James comes inside, gets away from 1-2, brought down, but Rutter's got the ball. Can Rutter dig it out to Somerville, hit it, hit it Cree. Bamford, back to Cree. Get it out of your feet. One of you is hit it. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a corner ball. It's a corner ball, at least. God's sake, man. Bamford flicked it to Somerville. Somerville then digs it out to Rutter. Actually takes a deflection. I just thought Rutter had had a Rutter moment with that strike. <laughs> no, Marco, I'm not your friend, mate. You need to stop doing that. No. Corner ball. Headed out. Hit it. Hit it, one of yours. Dan James! Ah, it's worth a strike, mate. It's worth a strike. I'm not even mad at it. I ain't mad at you. There's an over the love for you. Do your thing, Bob. Because I'm mad at you. Du -du 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 I'm mad at you. We used to want to the, not the same line. Mad at Hoochie out of Hollow at the same time. Bit of two pack there for you. I know I got the words wrong, but you see what I did. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at, people. You know, because this is not good enough, is it? Do you know what I mean? 
it is not good enough. It is not good enough. Rutter brought down, wins a foul. Uh, Millwall still beating Leicester. South Coventry have got one back against Southampton. Norwich to up. Preston, Huddersfield, one all. QPR beating Plymouth. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Um, Gruyev to Melier. Rodon. Rodon into Bamford. Bamford gets wrong side there. He's done well. Somerville, though, it's so crowded. So crowded. Somerville's won it back, though. As has Furpo, but Luke 9 just clears it. Get on him, Leeds. Well done, Cree. Well done, Korea. Now he's brought down. He's not give a free kick. Oh, he has. Riggs going to get a yellow card now. That's quite a few. Somerville exceptional there, by the way. Big up to Cree. Big up to Cree. Nearly 1,500 likes, folks. Less than 100 away. Please smash a like on the video if you're new and subscribe. Um, Joe Man Dog's here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Tell him, Graham. <laughs> Even if it's on his... Well, it's not his, it's not his blood brother. Do you know what I mean? They're from different families, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> rolling towards 30k. Hit the subscribe button. Give the like button a good old smash. Big up to Graham for the super chat as well. Legend, man. Um, yeah. He is Rodon. Gray's made a run. James. Right, we're coming down the right a bit. Get a, Cross it. Should have crossed it. Should have crossed it. James. Nah, uh, nah. Should have crossed it when you had the opportunity, bro. Rutter's done well. Rutter's done well. As has Rodon, but Joe Bellingham's got a bit fortuitous here in this space over on the right-hand side. I don't like the look of this. I do not like a look of this. Um, Rig, well done, Furpo. Still, though, Pembele is wrong side of the defence. Here's Pembele over in the corner for Sunderland. Furpo. How good's Furpo now? How good is Furpo now? It's a Sunderland throw. Marco! Leave him alone. I not call you to climb up. I've called you to shout at you, bro. No, because I can hear. That's why he's trying to get you. Patrick Roberts is coming on for Sunderland. So Riggs coming off. 16-year-old. Not been an amazing performance by him, has it? Um, I think we're going to get some subs as well from Leeds United soon as well. Rig comes off. Uh, on comes Patrick Roberts. Patrick Roberts could cause some problems, you know. X City, X Celtic. Thirty minutes left. <sighs> Throw then from Pembele. Here is Patrick Roberts. First touch for him. Equa. No, no throw. Apparently, Equa. Um. Oh nine. To um, Styles, thirty minutes left, folks. I just the thing is right. As much as possession and that, because of the way the first half's gone, much like the other games, I just have no confidence that we're going to do anything. This oh, there's the chat. Oh, um, Ampadu stops the ball going through to Joe Bellingham and gives it back to Melier. Melier then into Rodon. Gray's free. Jack Clark comes across, but Gray comes inside. And then gives it back to um, to Rodon. Sorry, peeps. Ball up to James, not great. And there's a chance it's opened up. This is it, isn't it? This is fucking it, Clark. Well done. Well done, Ampadu. Gets across. They've both come running in, man. They heard me. They heard me, peeps. No, no, no. no. Go on. Out you go. Go on, boys. Go on. Go. Go. That's it. Marco, if you do that again, man, I'm telling you, you'll be going to bloody RSPCA. <laughs> anyway, corner ball for, for, uh, for Sunderland. Patrick Roberts going to be the one to take. 
30 minutes left, folks. Patrick Roberts, corner. Headed downward, but then cleared. Kamara gets there ahead of his man. And uh, Pembele don't really have an option, so Kamara's pressing him there and wins the ball. Takes it away. Down the line. Space. Come on, Dan James, use it. Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. There's so many pink shirts, though. Oh, is that not a bad challenge? Gray still got the ball. Free kick. Advantage should have been given, but I think Joe Bellingham there is probably going to get a card as well. Dan James had done him. So many cards for these Sunderland players now. Has anyone been Aldi Bakery, by the way? These brownies are the best thing. The best. Mmm. Dan James has done really well there. Thing is, I'm letting Dan James hit this. Maybe pre-international break, actually. Maybe pre-international break, because he probably finds the back of the net, but... <laughs> Pat, step the f back, will you? Step back. Somerville over it. We've seen... We've seen we've seen these in, in normal time. Gruyev and Somerville over it. Somerville's gonna hit it surely. Come on, Cree, please. Cree Somerville. I've just got a text off a of locks, by the way, saying I'm so fed up. Um, I want you and Ipswich to go up. <laughs> Have they scored again, Millwall, or is it still 1-0? He just said, I'm so fed. I've turned it off because I don't want to get any note. I've, like, muted the, the WhatsApp, like, quick WhatsApp. But it just came up at the top. Um, I'm so fed up. I want Ipswich and you to go up. <laughs> That's I feel fed up right now. I can't lie to you. I'm sick. Just sick. It's the nerves of the promotion race, isn't it? Somerville over it. Somerville! Oh! I thought it had gone in. I thought it had gone in. I think Bryn Law thought it had gone in. My God, the net bustled. But I was like, it hasn't gone in. But Bryn went... Ah! Oh, side netting. So close, but yet so far. My God. My God. Oh. Gruyev heads it forward. Rutter. Oh, he gets round him too easily there, does Neil. Neil. Good challenge. And here's Somerville. Somerville now has a chance to carry the ball over halfway. Somerville brought down. That's, an, that's another free kick, is it not? No, referee says no. Patterson with the goal kick. Kamara wins it against Roberts. And here is Rodon. Ampadun passing to no one. No one's playing well, man. Not Furpo. Furpo's your best player, man. Rodon. A point is not enough at home, Leeds United. Sort it out. Rodon collects it off Melia, gives it to Ampadu, gives it back to Rodon, who then probably passes it back to Melia, and this is what we do. Oh, yeah, it was. It was right. <laughs> As my man, Andrea, would say, there is no verticality. Rutter has won the ball from a header from Somerville. He's brought down then. Advantage given. Somerville's got the ball. Somerville back to Kamara. Kamara, look. Gray wants it. He's got his arms open wide. Pass the ball to the right-hand side. Leads. Goes back to the left. All left are we. 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 Down the line. Amplium. Roll on. Ampelu. <laughs> Rodon. <laughs> Rodon. 
The crowd's starting to get annoyed now as well. Rutter's turned his man. Wins a free kick off Ballard. I'm not sure how. It looked very soft. Taken quick. And Firpo and Rutter have decided to foul themselves. But have won a free kick. Not sure how. I'd love to say put this in the mixer. But it's pointless because we never win out in the air, do we? I just done it, no. Somerville and Furpo over it. I'm going left footer, but... Oh, it's Gruyev. Gruyev to take. It's a good knock. Oh, it's a free kick. I'll get it in. If I get it in, Leeds win. Missed. <laughs> there you go. Game done. Yeah. Just had to double check. I did. I did miss. <sighs> Gruyev, good challenge. Crunching tackle. Quick, quick. Now that's it. Go on, Daniel. Daniel James. Daniel James. Run, cross, Dan. It's taken a deflection. Oh, it's come for Ballard. Rutter. Hit it, son. Yes! Oh, not bad by Rutter. Mm. He's getting closer, is Rutter. I mean, it's taken him 41 games, 42 games, whatever it is, but he's getting closer. He's getting closer, isn't he? Two and a half thousand people watching. If you haven't already, smash a like on the video. We're about 30 away now from, um, from 1,500 uh, so if you could smash a like, that'd be great. Uh, another change here. Pembele is coming off for Sunderland. Um, who's the sub? Let's have a look. Um, Elise? El Elise? I think that's how you say it. Elise. It looks like Elise, but with an A. So, Elise. Yeah, I think. Make sure you check out football prizes as well. Um... Millwall are still beating Leicester with six minutes left to go. We have to capitalise, man. We have to capitalise. I'm sorry, like, if we do not capitalise and... Oh, God. Furpo, what are you playing at? That's a bad challenge. Yellow card for Furpo. He's getting away from his man there. I'm not sure who it was. Who's ran from deep? It's Trey Hume. Look, Trey Hume's done him. Yeah, Trey Hume's done really well there. He's he's actually nutmegged uh, nutmegged Kamara, and then Furpo's brought him down. And th this is a horrible area for a free kick as well. A horrible area. Southampton two one as well. Um... Chef Wednesday have come back to two all. That's huge. Preston beating Huddersfield. That could be Chef Wednesday out of relegation zone. I think Plymouth QPR drawing. It's huge. Millwall beating Leicester though. Patrick Roberts over this. This would be it. This will be it. Like you know, if they do score, it is something like this. We know this, right? We know this, don't we? We know we've seen this story. Oh God. Ekwe and Roberts over it. The nerves and the Leeds fans, you can see it. Roberts. <sighs> Melier saves it. <sighs> Nearly puts it into Bellingham's path. Bellingham's got the ball on the edge of the box. Bellingham. To Styles. there's Bellingham. Clark wants it off him. Do not let him get it onto his right boot and have a strike. He has to go back there to uh, the nine. That's He's offside, ref. He's offside, is he not? Yeah, but half row in anyway. It's half row, folks. Melier's going, come on, come on, to the to the players. We need something, Mez. He made a good save. He made a good save and pushed it way out of the way. It's not a bad strike from Patrick Roberts. It's a decent height. It's a save he should be making. Kamara's going off. 
So Roberts will probably come in at right back and Gray goes into me. Oh, no, it's Nonto. Nonto. Come on, Nonto! What's he saying here? I don't know. He went 4-1. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, James in conversation with Farker as well, probably getting some instructions. Nonto. Let me check that bloody... Millwall still 1-0 with three minutes left, by the way. Here is Nonto. First real touch for him out of his feet. We, we, oh, honestly, I would give anything. I would give any... Oh, that's a good ball. Dan James is in. Can't, can't control it. Can't control it. And it's gone out for a throw. But there seems to be a sense of urgency about Leeds. Maybe it's the crowd I'm hearing and just taking that as sense of urgency. But there is a definite shift. James... James to Gray. Gray gets away from Elise. Gray. Gray. Cross. Oh, it's well blocked. It's brilliantly blocked from Elise. And it'll be a corner ball. It's a corner ball to Leeds United, folks. Preston 4 1 up. Still Millwall lead 1 0 against Leicester City. Gray looked for the cross. And it's a great block by the substitute Elise. Crossed in Gruev. Oh, my God. It nearly drops for Rodon. But it's cleared and Gray on halfway goes back to Melier. Why didn't it go into Somerville? I do not know. Melier is now going long. I mean, this is what I mean. We've gone back to Melier there. Gray's gone here, Mez, and he's hoofed it forward. When we could have gone forward and give it to Somerville, who was in space, while we had bodies still in the box. Furpo's won the ball and it'll go for a... Oh, it's a throw in to... to uh, throw into Sunderland. Millwall still beating Leicester City, by the way. We have to capitalise. Preston now 4-1 up against Huddersfield. The thing is, I don't even think we're going to create anything. Look at... Look, look. There's like 18 minutes left, but we've not created anything all game. Anything. Road on turn. Goes back to Melier. Melier's gone long. It's direct, live and direct. Bamford chests it down into Somerville's path. Bamford, touch to Rutter. There's the pass to James. Dan James trying to get across his man. I tell you what, Ballard's done exceptionally well there. You could see Dan James, the thought he's thinking, if I get a challenge here, I'm going down. You could see, he's, look what he's tried to do. The defender's actually done well. Look, he's tried to get it in from 9 cross it to Somerville, and uh, Ballard's cleared it. It's a corner ball, but I don't, I don't back us to do anything from this. They've gone short. James, back to Cree then. Back to Cree. We know what he wants. Nice. No, popped in! Oh, it's headed by 9 It was not a bad ball. And Padoo! Shit! Oh, God, please, Leeds. Uh, please smash a like on the video if you haven't already, folks. Um, rolling towards 30k, so hit the subscribe button if you can. Um, I could understand if you don't want to right now. I get it. 90th minute, Millwall won less than nil. Like, we have to capitalise. I mean, even if they drop... Even if they get one point, right? We can still capitalise. It keeps them well in the mix. We have to win this game of football. Nonto's come away with it. Bamford, nice touch into Rutter. There's the ball to Somerville. Bamford, back post, please. Somerville's carrying it. Oh, what a challenge by Luke 9 What a challenge. Maybe you should have released it sooner. Maybe you should have. But listen, we've got a corner. We've got a corner, folks. We're starting to come now, aren't we? Somerville, it's a great challenge from Luke 9 to be fair to him. Another corner. Somerville. Walk on! They want handball. They're screaming for handball. Nothing, nothing. It, 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 it looked speculative. Yeah, it's handball. Yeah, Luke O'Nine's basically got his hand here. If that's VAR, it is handball, isn't it? Let's be honest. He's trying to punch it. He's, Luke O'Nine's going to punch it. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, he's going to punch it. He's going to flick it off a of road on Z. That's handball every day of the week. Yeah, it's handball, man. It's handball. 
I mean, look, I'm, I'm not going to grumble about that. Like, at the end of the day, you know, fuck it. We haven't been good enough anyway, so if we don't win and people want to talk about a penalty, I can't be asked. Should be a penalty like, but I can't even be asked because we've been terrible. So we're not worthy of it. We are not worthy. Luke 9 clips it into midfield. Gruev brought down. Referee says, nah, I won't even bother giving advantage. No free kick. Stinker. Come on, man. 14 minutes. Has that finished? Somerville. Millwall still winning with 92 minutes on the clock. Here is Nonto. Gray, look, why aren't we using him? He's there. Nonto's tried to give it to Somerville. It's not a great pass. <sighs> He's won a free kick there for nothing, really. It's a massive point here at Sunderland. They've got nothing to play for, but, you know, you're going up against Leeds United. It's thingy. Yeah, look. Um, Millwall winning against Leicester on the 93rd minute. It's a penalty, that. He's gone to punch the ball. Look at him, he's done that on purpose, man. He's seen him going like this. He knows. He's like as if to say, yeah, man, I've handballed it. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you that's what that is. It's a little dig there from, from uh, Luke O9, the Capitano. Rutter wins the ball. Over the top. Bamford to chase. Ballard wins the header. It goes into Elise. Luke O'Nines then sent it forward. Ampadu. Joe Bellingham. Patrick Roberts. Gruyev's done well. Winning the challenge as has Firpo. Firpo. Come on. Leeds throw then. Firpo's been great by the way. Firpo is the bright spark in these last few games. Who'd have thunk it? Not me. Not me. 13 minutes left, people. God. Uh, Millwall still 1-0 up. Plymouth QPR's finished one all. Nonto. Nonto got so many shirts around him. Give it to James. It's cleared up field. It's route one football. Jack Clark's going to chase down. Road on. Nothing crazy leads. Nothing crazy, please. Into Melier. Melier. Get rid, son. There we go. Over the top we go. Too much space for him. Too much space for Equa there. Who's getting close to him? Joe Bellingham. Someone's winning this, you know. Someone is going to win this. Oh, shit. Every time they get the ball, I'm scared. I can't lie. Wee, terrible strike. Goal kick. Leeds United. Please, Leeds, man. Millwall still one up. 94th minute. My days. Honestly, I feel sick, you know, in your stomach. Like, it's that kind of nervousness. I feel, like, sick. Nonto's dropping deep, trying to get involved, trying to get leads up the pitch. Millwall's still winning on the 95th minute. Oh, Rodon's give it away. Plenty of pink shirts to pick out here as well. What a challenge, Rodon, though. Nonto, get you sent up. Get you sent up, Will. No, there's no free... Oh, oh he's giving a... Referee! Ten minutes left. <clears throat> Every other game's finished by Millwall, by the way. Southampton beat Coventry 2-1. Chef Wednesday Norwich 2-all. Preston 4. Huddersfield 1. Plymouth 1. QPR 1. Gruev brought down. Free kick. Oh, God. 1,500 likes. Please smash a like on the video. There's Parag Marate with uh, with with uh, Angus Kinnear. Gray down the line into James. James Nonto. Love that. Here's Gray. Gray cross. Oh, part, oh it's, no, nothing. No, apparently it's not gone out. It was a good ball, actually. It's a good ball from Gray. Both Bamford and, and Rutter attacking it, but... No one can really get anything with it. But that's nice to see us linking up down this right-hand side. Good ball, Gray. Bamford lets it run for Rutter. And, uh, yeah, the keeper comes out and deals with it, does Patterson. Millwall won Leicester nil. 96th minute. 96th minute. 10 minutes left for Leeds, by the way. We have to capitalise. Because I tell you what, Ipswich will. Ipswich will. Do you see what I'm saying? Ipswich will. So we have to. We must. We must. 
Furpo. Furpo into Rutter. Rutter's not been great either, either. Get him off as well then, eh? Furpo's the only man running about. <sighs> Roberts. Challenge. Oh, he's still got the ball. No. Oh, good challenge, Gruev, but it's fallen for him. Nonto, great defending. Equa. That's he's offside, isn't he? Job. Get rid Ampadu. Ninety-seventh minute, Millwall one, Leicester nil. Nine minutes left for Leeds. Plus any added time, which to be honest, I don't think there'll be much for us. Three changes now. Piro, Roberts, Joseph. If Joseph scores, yeah, I'll never speak Bamford's name again. <laughs> I'll never ever speak his name. <laughs> Piron, James off. Bamford off. On comes Joseph. And who was the other one? Roberts is coming on. Kitchen sink time. Kitchen sink time. Gray's coming off as well for Roberts. Well done, Archie. He's done all right today, Archie. James not. Bamford not. Who else? Millwall have beat Leicester. There you have it. Millwall have beat Leicester. We have to win this game of football now. We have to win this game of football. Millwall have beat Leicester City people. We have to win this game of football. Somerville, out wide to Roberts. Here we go, Leeds United. Come on. You've got one defender and nine attackers on. Let's make it happen. Here's Nonto. Nonto. Nonto's in the box, trying to get round this man. They're just going to shepherd that out. Oh, he's kept it in. That's a Legion out of corner. Hey, you've, why has he done that for speculative? Like, look at me. I go like this. Do you know what I mean? Just just give the decision. Don't make it about... Like, he's done this for ages to the, create intrigue to either go like that or like that. You're a lino, mate. Get in the bin. Honestly. Look, at, look everyone's shitting themselves, man. <laughs> Goal kick. <laughs> the Leeds fans look they're in pain, man. They're in pain. Piro brings it down. Back to Ampadu. Seven minutes left plus added time. Millwall have um, beaten. Beaten Leicester. They've beaten him, man. Come on, Leeds. Ilian Melier. Melier going long. It's headed by Hume. It's going to be a throw into Sunderland. Don't forget to hit the likes if you haven't already, folks. It massively helps. Rolling towards 30k as well. So if you could subscribe, try and get there before the end of the season. Sunderland naturally taking their time with this. All I've got in my head, right, is Saeed saying, When you must... You did a must. Like, we, we we need to must. Rutter draws the foul, wins it. Furpole goes back to Ampadu, back to Furpole. That's all we need, isn't it? Just this, a goal goes in and, like, it's like we're back. And I know the performance has been shit, but it could do so much for the confidence in the team. Rutter somehow got the ball. Rutter, another corner. But again, I get no confidence from corners. Fuck off, Marco in. Marco has more swag. Eh? <laughs> you on about the dogs? <laughs> Cross, Somerville. Ooh, Rodon. Heads it. Oh, that's gone our way. Corner ball. Oh, my God. What are we doing here, ref? I can't, man. Five minutes left. Free kick, apparently. You've been given a free kick for that. I don't know why, but there you go. Oh... We haven't tested the goalkeeper at all, have we? Jorginho's trying to flick it on. Lise with the header. Slater. Perot. 
There we go then, Rutter. Come on, son. Piro. Go on, Joel. Go on, Joel, son. Out wide. That's it. Furple, look how many white shirts we've got in that box now. Furple pops it up. It's cleared, though, by Equa. Roberts will chase it. Gets caught underneath it. Matteo Joseph. Oh, they're going to give a... F no, no free kick. Well done, Matteo. Well done, Furpo. Both winning the ball back off of uh, Patrick Roberts there. Uh, Ampadu to Roberts. Uh, Rodon, sorry. Come on. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor, son. Here's Gruyev. Gruyev out to Junior Furpo. We've got three and a half minutes of normal time. Here's Somerville. Attack that space, Somerville. We know you crack them in from there. And don't forget to smash the likes, folks. Nearly 3K watching. Big up to you all anyway. Thank you for being here for the demise, <laughs> for the heartache. Um, 1,600 likes. Here's Rutter out to Somerville. Somerville cuts in. He's done well to beat Roberts. There's the cross. It's headed out by Ballard, though. Will a Leeds player get there? They won't. Styles lets it go. Darren Styles in the mix. Nonto with the throw for Leeds United. Three minutes left. And counting plus out of time. I reckon we only get about two minutes, by the way. So we've got about five minutes. Five minutes to capitalise on Leicester dropping points. Furpo into Rutter. Rutter, too many pink shirts, but somehow dug a pass out to Pirro. Good challenge, good challenge. But Pirro's still got the ball. Pirro's done really well there. Here's Furpo. Furpo to Somerville. Somerville... The penalty. Nah. Nah, I'm clutching, I'm clutching. I can't lie to you, I'm clutching. Clutching at massive straws. You could see what he was trying to do, but Hume's, Hume's a good defender. He's like, me. I'm not, no... I'm, you're not getting no penalty there. He's just done enough. Just done enough. It's not good enough, is it? This I don't know. Like I don't, I don't know the answers to the questions. Patrick Roberts, a lot of white shirts around, but not really being able to do anything. Nonto full of running, chasing down the keeper. He slice one out to the right hand side, and Furpo's won the header. And can Somerville chase it? Luko 9 just puts it into touch. Throw into Leeds United. Third poor throw. Rutter. Oh, it's a good challenge, Ballard. It's a really good challenge by Ballard, that. Throw in. Rutter's at his elbow. It's a really good challenge by Ballard. Defended pretty well, aren't they? they? They've defended well as a unit, but we haven't really caused them any problems. Really disappointed. You can see, man, the... <laughs> Going to be a throw. Big throw. Headed out. Ampadu, Ampadu to Nonto, there's just no space, man, <sighs> God, Roberts, Somerville, Ampadu, Nonto, oh, wow, massive deflection, and it nearly ends up in the back of the net, great strike by Nonto, and I tell you what, it's going goalward and Luko 9's just done enough. Just done enough to head it over. And there's a corner ball here, Roberts to take. I'm not sure on added time. Three minutes. Three minutes. I think Farker's fuming with the amount of time. Over the crossbar. We've not got all, have we? Fucking point, man. Point. It's not a bad cross by Roberts. I'd actually start him just for that. Just for that. Because the amount of corners we've had and done nothing with... Farkas fuming with the amount of added time, by the way. But that you, you're clutching, Daniel. You're clutching, mate. I'm sorry. Still not good enough. <laughs> no. 
no doubt he's taking his time. We can't complain though. You can con oh well, we could have two bit extra minutes. Three extra minutes. You've had ninety. You've had ninety, so don't give me that. I don't even think there's been that much anyway, so I don't know what we're complaining about. For me anyway, because I don't know what, what stoppage time there has been. Melier long. Pirro, Furpo. Cross. It's well headed by Luke 9 And it'll be a corner ball to Leeds. Might not expect anything. This is it, innit? you got a minute left, folks. Leeds United, when they must. They didn't must. Ampadu's allowed himself to be pushed over by Luke 9 Melier, minute left, folks. Nonto. Gruyev. Into Ethan Ampadu. Minute left. Why are we going backwards, man? The, even the crowd are fuming. We've got a minute left and we're going backwards. Roberts attacking, going forward, though. Somerville. See, there you go. Rutter. Rutter gets away from his man. Release it. Fucking release it to Nonto. Why? Always oh, trying to be too special. There's a passing to Nonto. Nah. Here we go. 15 seconds. Substitute incoming. Leeds United have dropped the ball. Leeds have dropped the ball. You have a, you've opened the door. Millwall have said, here you go. That's twice now we've had the door open and we've shut it on ourselves. I don't know what this will do for the table. Um, I don't know, but... <sighs> Yeah. Point puts us in second. Point puts us in second on goal difference. <sighs> you had to win this game, man. Especially especially with Leicester dropping points. Shit. Patrick Roberts here for Sunderland. Lost it. Sent forward by Gruyev. Joseph. Out to Nonto. Gruyev. Gruyev's going over the top. Piro. Straight on through, folks. No joy. No joy. No room at the inn. No room at the inn, as they say in Bethlehem. Um, yeah. 94 we've played now, folks. I think that's it, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Full time, folks. Leeds United have dropped the ball. Um, post match reaction straight up after this. If you can be asked, that is. I won't blame you if you if you can't. Um, there will be a redirect set, so you know you'll go straight on over uh, to the uh, um, to the to the uh, to the live stream. Um, just trying to make sure that that we've got that. Um, yeah, uh, let me just check that the redirects on there should be. Um, yeah, it will be probably. I don't know. My head's up my ass. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Nil nil. So when you must, you didn't must. That's that's what we have to remember here. Leeds United have been gifted an opportunity again and 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 failed to take. Um, Failed to 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 capitalise on it, if you like. Performance not great again. That's four on the spin now, people. Not great at all. Um, listen, I'm going to hit live on the uh, on the post match reaction. There'll be me, there'll be Joe, there'll be Evie, there'll be Andrea. Um, I did ask if Kate wanted to come on as well, um, but I don't know if she'll make it or not. But um, we will get there. We will get there. And of course, the first comment in there is. Still think Bamford's the right man. Bamford's not the reason we lost this fucking game, man. But I'm not doing it. I'll tell you something for now, yeah? When we go straight on over to here, I will not... I will not make one comment of Bamford. I'm going to let the other people do that. 
because I, 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 I can't be objective with it anymore. I cannot be objective with it anymore because the first comment is still think Bamford's the right man. Nothing against, nothing about the performance, nothing about Farker's decisions, nothing about um, any other, just, just him. This is why I cannot do it anymore. <laughs> I cannot. Um, I cannot. Anyway, right, okay, I've just fucking hit my arm as well, sorry. Um, right, I'm going to uh, put us on over there. Um, that really hurt. I'm going to hit live on that, okay? So let me uh, let me hit live, and um, once that's live, um, yeah, um, there we go. Um, that's live, so we're going to go straight on over there now. I'm going to end the stream. I'll see you in two, okay? Peace out, folks.